Stream. Welcome to the Cyber Show this Friday evening. And how are we all doing? Lovely to see you all. Lots of people popping in. Lots of familiar faces. Some old faces and new faces. Awesome. Yes, I've got the Alan Sugar T-shirt on again tonight. Thank you, Flibble Sun. Amazing stuff, eh? <laughs> um, so tonight, I thought we'd uh, go back again. Um, and go on another treasure hunt for like hidden gems on the Amstrad CPC tonight. Yes, this was of course the um, series of uh, streams that uh, Yellow Belly of this parish. There he is in the chat. Actually, I see you. I see you. Greetings, Yellow Belly. Um, he started this as his streams on his own channel on Sunday evenings last year, and what a fantastic series it was with an A to Z looking for all the hidden gems on the Amstrad. So, we've already done three parts to our own streams because uh, Yellow Belly very kindly handed his list over to us to have a look at them on the Amstream. And over three parts, we went through all the games there and we decided whether they were gems or not gems. And uh, yes, if they were gems, then they got the gem rating. I've got a whole list of them here, so maybe we could do a, a separate video on it for the channel at some point, but I don't know. Or maybe Yellow Belly will. But, um, so tonight, after we got through all three parts, um, we're actually at the end of part three. We started, we finished quite early on part three, only about a couple of hours into the stream. We always do like a five hour stream anyway. Um, we actually started taking suggestions from the chat. And we did actually find uh, some more hidden gems. We got me thinking there must be even more out there. And with the collective brain power and trust of the Amstream community, we have some very knowledgeable people here. Like CPC Game Reviews, Nish, I see you. I'm looking at you for some suggestions in a bit. <laughs> not, not to put you on the spot too much. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, get, girls, get your thinking caps on and have a think about those rare, maybe forgotten about old Amstrad games that never get talked about much, or if, if at all. Um, that we never see on the AM stream or wherever. Um, that sh that is a hit. That may be a hidden gem, or maybe they've just been overlooked or something like that. Maybe maybe a game from a bigger company, and we've just sort of forgotten about how good it was or something like that. I don't know. But generally, the games that like you know don't often get requested and all that kind of stuff. So let's see, let's see what you guys can come up with in uh, a little while. I'll start looking at suggestions in the chat after I've done the greetings. But yeah, I thought this would be a nice, uh, uh, chilled stream tonight. Um, as you've heard me talking about a lot, I've been planning a big am stream. It's nearly ready, uh, but I've been feeling quite poorly recently um, in, in regards to ocular migraines. I've been really suffering with them a lot recently and uh, problems with my vision. And last night my vision took a real nosedive, I got really blurry and crap like that. That's usually like a sign of a, a migraine trying to break its way through. Um, so I decided I'm not going to do the big am stream tonight. I thought I'd do a nice chilled one. So that's why we're doing this tonight. Um, so I wouldn't want to have one after all that work during the big am stream I've been planning for bloody ages. Um, but, so I'm in the middle of like changing like medications and stuff like that. So I could be a bit wobbly for a few weeks anyway. 
Well, it might mean it might mean that I might have to take a few extra breaks tonight just to give my eyes a rest from the screen because it's all to do with the screens and bright lights and stuff like that, which is a big factor in triggering my migraines. But anyway, so yeah, uh, I don't want to uh, uh, ramble on about that too much, but honestly, it does affect me quite a bit. I don't need breaks from streaming or anything like that. Because if I wasn't streaming, I'd be watching the telly with Mrs. Zypho, or we'd be, I'd be playing a computer game probably anyway, or working on stuff involving screens and phones and all that. So I don't, I don't need a break. I just need to get get through this bad face and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I've been feeling quite down in the dumps and depressed about it all, to be honest with you. But um, I would not want to. Oh! Retro or Busts has just become a one pound Patreon! Holy smokes! Retro or Busts, thank you! Bloody hell, mate. Thank you very, 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 very much, mate. That's awesome. Guys, can we have some bananas in the chat or whatever you want to do? A retro bus and welcome him to the am squad thank you man that's very 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 kind of you and as soon as i see you in the chat i will uh, get your um spanner of doom next to your name there you are oh rob thank you very 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 much mate you now have the uh, spanner of doom next to your name uh thank you my friend I'll, i will drop you a message tomorrow uh, don't forget to link your Patreon to Discord if you're in my Discord. Uh, I'll certainly send you a link tomorrow if you can't find it. And you'll get put in the roles in Discord and you'll get access to a load of private channels and stuff like that. And also enjoy all the exclusive uh, videos and stuff I've made for Patreon. So you'll have many, many, many months worth of posts and videos to go through there. But thank you, man. That's, that's cheered me up no end. Uh, but tell you what, guys. As I was just saying, uh, I would really miss not... Uh, hanging out with you guys. For me, it's like I'm hanging out with friends here on the Am stream on a Friday. It's not about me being the big streamer and it's all about me and what I'm doing. It's about it's having fun with you guys and a, a community and chatting with you all. So uh, I wouldn't want to take a break from it. Not unless I, it was really affecting me, but uh, uh, my migraines are going to happen regardless. So because I use a screen all the time at work as my day job, so and triggers for migraines from screens can can occur from hours if not days ago so you never know if it's something on the on the stream that's caused a migraine or something i was doing last night at work looking at the screen then so no i don't need a break but um but i just thought i'd fill you guys in on that so this is why we're doing sort of a bit of a chill stream we haven't really got a big theme i don't need to stress too much about getting through x amount of games or completing a game from start to finish uh we can we can just do things how we want tonight and i'm looking forward to your suggestions but retro bus rob thank you again my friend that's very 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 kind of you right so what i'm going to do then guys is we're going to do the greetings and take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the chat i will try and do this as quickly as possible because i know people uh, get annoyed that they they come in the stream and they want to see games and it's just me rambling on. So we'll try doing this a little quicker tonight. Anyway, so first thing in the chat tonight is at 6:30 p.m. Uh, bloody hell, two and a half hours early. Vanishes, welcome, vanishes. It's getting in pathetically early since I'm going to work. To wish everyone a happy Friday and a lovely weekend. Well, that's very nice of you to do that, Vanishes. So, if you're not here now and you're watching on Catch Up, thank you, Vanishes. I hope you have a lovely weekend too, my friend, and thank you for the kind message from everyone. I'm sure they all appreciate that. Next in, uh, an hour and a half early, was Mr. Lovely Neil. Neil Lovely, hello. Welcome to the stream again, Neil. We're starting to become a real regular here on the Am stream. It's nice to see you. Welcome, Neil. I hope you're keeping well. Next in is the Gaming Hamster. Hey, it says, hello, looking forward to the gems, Mr. Zai. <laughs> Thank you, Gaming Hamster, and I hope your uh, hamster cage and wheel is uh, oiled and not squeaking. You've got enough bedding and uh, your, your water bottle's filled up ready. <laughs> Welcome, the Gaming Hamster. Hey, Oxo, good as well. Welcome, my friend, as well. Oxo, Oxo, thank you as well, my friend, because just before... Uh, I went live, this happened.
Not so good. Thank you, my friend. Also, he was a patron, but he was a one pound patron and he's just bought it to four pound. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very, very, very much. You can have some confetti for that and some fireworks. Thank you, Oxo. I really, really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. It's very, very, very kind of you. Cheers, my friend. Thank you. And everyone give Oxo some love in the chat for that. Thank you. Oh, you're very well. You're very, thank you. I'm very, very grateful, Oxo. Cheers, my dude. And I hope you've been keeping well, my friends. What's new with you? Um, I'm going to carry on the greetings. We've got the saboteur in the chat who sneaks in and agrees with the hamster and sneaks out. It's like the saboteur and the gaming hamster in cahoots of each other. Well, there you go. Welcome, saboteur. Hope you're well. Uh, the lovely Brian Hooper is next. He says, it's been a long week, but finally Friday has arrived and it now feels like the weekend. I hope you're all well and good. I'm not too bad, Brian, as you know. Uh, but Brian, I hope you're keeping well, my friends. And lovely to see you. And uh, hopefully we won't tie you out too soon tonight. I <laughs> uh, hope you're good, man. Lovely to see you again, as always. Next thing we've got David Selvi. Good evening, David. How you doing, man? Happy Friday to you too, sir. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Next thing we've got the Amasmy. Hello, Amasmy. This is hello, everyone. Welcome, my friends. I hope your week's been all right. And we've got Warzord, the board Time Lord. Greetings, my friend. How's things in the TARDIS going? Then, dang my poons, there's a Sean M. Neary incoming. Welcome. Um, <laughs> well, um, it says sometimes in screenshots are not hidden by any means. They're all well, so it's not exactly what they say. Yeah, but I think the point was, we've all forgotten about them, or most of them. A lot of people... Uh, these are the ones from Yellow Belly, like Monument there. That's quite a... I don't think that was even reviewed in magazines. And uh, a lot of people still didn't know about it until recently. But a few, a few of us hardcore amateur fans would know. But yeah, most most of them, I don't know. Uh, but welcome, Sean. I hope all is good with you. But I hope you've got some suggestions for me tonight. Then we've got Yellow Belly in the chat there. Greetings to Yellow Belly. And look what, look what I received in the post, ladies and gentlemen. I have in my hands, in my possession, the Yellow Belly's book, yes, it's flipped in the camera. The Adventures of Yellow Belly. Look, there's Andrea. There's a, there's a Yellow Belly. And various members of the Amstream community are all featured in this book. Uh, I don't know if he's got any extra copies that um, he needs to sell. Um, if you do Yellow Belly, please put your link to the Discord in the chat there. And uh, let, and then if you want to go and buy a copy, you can go to his Discord and request it from him. I mean, there are ten ten pound a book, and most most of the Amstream community is in here. Um, I've, I've just got through like the first few pages, and it has, has already made me laugh and giggle quite a lot. So uh, yeah, yeah, very lot, lot, lot. Oh look, I just saw my name there, Zypho, who is King Zypho of Zylandia. <laughs> and all the names of the people there in the back of the book. So there you go. Excellent. What an amazing thing that is. Now, can I just like, take a second to say, like, a member of our c community has written a bloody book, right? Which features all our community in there. How many of the retro communities do you know where something like this exists? That's amazing. If you just think about it for a second, that is, that is re a really, really cool thing. A real proper book. That that's awesome. And apparently we might have a sequel to that. So anyone that wasn't featured in there, make themselves known in the chat and uh, <laughs> over the next few streams, you may get added in. Uh, but amazing stuff. Anyway, um, let's see who's next in the chat. There we've got a Moose. Good evening, Mr. Moose. Because I catalogued all my Amstrad games today. Fun times. Sounds like something I would do, Musa, like a lot of us probably as well. Awesome, man. How are you doing, Musa? I hope all is well with you. I'm just turning my fan on behind me. There we go. Uh, hope all is good, my friend. Welcome. And I'll find out about that Jigs 4000 mystery for you as soon as I can, dude. Um, ahoy, Johnny Boy, next in the chat there. Welcome, Johnny Boy. How are you doing, my friend? I think we missed you on Marbles last night, so I hope you're all right, Johnny Boy. Welcome, my friend. Next up we've got Arnie the Viking, says greetings everyone, sadly I can't think of a single hidden gem to suggest here. All the good ones I know of are already well known, I've already found Yellow Valley, by Yellow Valley or too complex for poor old Zai. 
Yeah, try not to find one where I'm going to need to read a manual for like an hour before I understand what the hell's going on with it. <laughs> Who knows, Arnie? Maybe some games tonight might spark some imagination and ideas. Uh, Mr. C uh, Craig Wilson, good evening. Flops in the chair. I leapt in the chair, my friend. I'll give you half a mark for that. Actually, I'll take it off because you called me an Ewok, so you get a zero for that, Craig. Welcome, Mr. Wilson. Uh, next thing we've got 80s Retro Gamer. Good evening, my friend, as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a Robin Hook next in there. Hello, my fellow Ams fan. And thank you for your continued support as always. Welcome. Next in there's a Tom's Fum. Thumbs up for Tom's Fum. Um, I think you were about to start writing a joke there. What's it called to... I don't know you gave up. Never mind. Looking forward to the ter more terrible jokes, Tom's Fum. And thank you as well for your continued support. And the next in we've got the Drew Liam Parzo Vlogs as well. Good evening all. I hope you're all good. Looking forward to seeing some human gems tonight. I'm looking forward to it too, man. Hopefully we can find some. Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very short stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome, my friend. Next thing, we've got Mrs. Zypho herself, Kate White, as well. Thank you for my delicious lasagna for dinner. Well, breakfast for me. <laughs> Mrs. Zypho is going to get her second COVID jab tomorrow. So, everyone, prayers and thoughts for me, because she might be really ill and grumpy the next day, and I've got to look after her. <laughs> No, I hope it was all. I hope it goes all right tomorrow. But a uh, lot of love to Mrs. Light in the chat there. And um, we also have. Let's scroll down a bit. Um, we have CPC game reviews niche. Looking forward to your suggestions, as I said a minute ago. Um, right. Uh, we have a tactical pirate. Pirate does. Good evening. Oh, you got an ad for female beauty products before the stream started. <laughs> Well, what can I say? Um, I think you look good in a bit of blush and mascara, tactical pirate, you know. Johnny Depp wore the, wore the eyeliner as um, Captain Jack Sparrow in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie. So, uh, yeah, maybe get the eyeliner on. Hey, next here we've got Mirko Ragovic. Good evening, my friend. Lovely to see you again, mate. How have you been keeping? And uh, it's lovely to see you again, man. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we have little Ryu here tonight as well. Hello, welcome to the stream. And if it's your first time here in the chat, do please let us know and we'll give you a big Amstream welcome. Uh, but welcome, hope you have a nice time here tonight. Hey, Nivrig! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Nivrig, is this your first time on the Amstream on YouTube? I know you come on the Twitter streams and stuff like that, but uh, have you just found me on YouTube tonight? Wow, you're in for a treat. This is the big Amstrad stream. Welcome, Nivrig. And I hope you're keeping well. Hey, Mr. Paul Owen. Bonjour, bonsoir. How you doing, Paul? Welcome, my friend. How have you been, my friend, as well? Lovely to see you again. Um, uh, yes, we'll do some teasers. Yes, Mrs. Cypher says we'll do some teasers in the week for the uh, big Amstream. I'm determined to do the big Amstream next Friday coming. Um, let me just scroll up. My chat just window just re-scrolled. Right, we're nearly done with the greetings, actually. 16-bit Jay! Lovely to see you again, man. An, uh, an old but lovely face. How you doing, Jay? Hi, how have you been as well, my friend? Oh! Holy crap! Neil! Patreon as well. Oh, Neil, thank you very, 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 very much, Neil. Holy crap. Wow. Two new Patreons and one increasing as well tonight. That's nuts. Thank you, Neil. Oh, my God. Right. Uh, Neil, welcome to the AM Squad, my friend. I will drop you a message tomorrow to tell you how to uh, link uh, your Discord to Patreon, because I know you're in there, and uh, to get, your, get yourself in the hidden uh, channels in Discord, and enjoy the um, uh, posts uh, on, the, on the Patreon there, all the exclusive videos and stuff. Welcome, Neil. Can everyone give bananas in the chat for the lovely Neil? Thank you, man, and welcome to the AM Squad. Uh, as soon as I see your name again pop up in the chat, I will uh, give you the Spanner of Doom. 
Oh, there you are. Right, okay. So, I like retro busts. You have the spanner, which makes you a moderator in the chat, but you don't have to use it in a, or at all. It's just so you get marked of a, your, your name is now in highlighted the blue bus spanner. It's so I know that you're a patron and, you know, makes you feel all special and stuff. You don't have to do any moderation at all, not if you don't want to. But of course, uh, please be careful, as well as, uh, the same goes to your retro busts with the, um, the the mod hammer and all that kind of stuff. But thank you, man, and welcome. Um, crap, where was I? I've lost myself in the chat now. Sugar, where was I? Oh, I think I did it there. Um, Lucas Rainford, good evening, Lucas. <laughs> um, uh, welcome, my friends, welcome. Sean, get your ass properly on Discord. Have you installed Discord on your computer? Don't use it for the browser. Get a proper account on there. And uh, come and chat with us. We have a lot of great discussions in the week about gaming and other fun stuff. Um, yes, and of course, uh, you get the uh, exclusive channels as well, uh, being a member of the Am Squad. Um, let me see. Um, who else have we got in the chat tonight? And then we'll get to the first game. Um, Mame Haze is here. Good evening. Welcome. If, he says, if I look for a few hours, do I become a hidden gem? You are, you are, you are a gem, regardless of being hidden or not. <laughs> uh, Mame Hayes, you are a gem to this community. Uh, but welcome, my friends. Hope you're doing well. Um, just scrolling through. If I miss anyone, I do apologise. Hey, Ross Gardner. How you doing, Ross, my fellow naughty am I? How's tricks, dude? Welcome, 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 and good evening. We've got a Jimmy Taylor here as well. Good evening, Mr. Jimmy Taylor, and hello to Jamie, if she's there with you. Welcome, welcome, my friends. We have a tall Paul here as well, Mr. TP. How are you doing as well, man? I hope your week's been good. Um, let's have a look. Scrolling down a bit further. Tactical Pirate has written a novel. It's called Fifty Shades of Zypho. Yikes. I think they uh, pick themselves zero copies of that. Or well, maybe one copy to GP. That's about it. <laughs> hey, Rock211, Paul. How you doing, mate? Lovely to see you tonight, man. Have you got any hidden gems on the Amstrad that you remember? Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Um, Oh, crap. Wait, chat window re-scrolled. All right, I know where I am now. Um, I think I've said hello to everyone. Little Ryu again. Hello. Is this your first time here tonight? If so, let me know. And Nivrick says, yes, it's my first time on the YouTube stream. I do not wonder why I kept missing the hamstring. <laughs> yes, it's always been on YouTube. We started on YouTube streaming first. And then I started doing Twitch streams later on, like for last year. Um, eventually, the hamstring will probably move to Twitch on a Friday. But for the time being, it's, it's remaining here. But yes, this is where all the community is. Uh, Mr. Freakwood, welcome to the stream. Holla uh, as well. Welcome. Is this your first time here as well? If so, please let us know in the chat. And we'll take a moment to give you a nice big we uh, um, welcome. Um, Neil says, can I have Span Keru? Um, I don't know what Span Keru is, Neil. Can you uh, elaborate or describe in uh, more detail or something? Out. Uh, Ross, good luck. Uh, well done on the first jab today. Just watch out for tomorrow morning. Hopefully it doesn't affect you. Usually it takes about 24 hours before it hits you like a ton of bricks. Some people are fine. Some people are not. So just be, just be wary. Um, oh, thank you, Jay. Yeah, Amberspot is good for me today. Thank you. And Mr. Rob Cox as well. Puts popping in there at the end there. Good evening from Cornwall. How, how's glorious Cornwall, mate? Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I have a couple of ideas for hidden gems already from a, a stream quite recently. Uh, so we can start with them or we can take some suggestions in the chat right now for some hidden gems. So does anyone have a hidden gem for us on the Amstrad we can take a look at? And then what we'll do is we'll have a little chat and discussion and, and a little vote over whether it's a hidden gem or not. All right. And then we'll decide whether it truly is a gem or not. And I'll keep, I've kept a list of all these from the previous streams as well. Oh, hurrah, babe. Nice. 
Mini Zypho has finally fallen asleep. Finally, it's been a little terror this evening. Ah, uh, not so glorious in uh, in Cornwall tonight. Is it, it's peeing it down, is it? Silent Shadow. If it hasn't been covered before. Oh, Mikey Smith. Good evening, dude. Welcome, Mikey. Oh, we need to uh, give you your spanner back because Mikey just rejoined the Am Squad as well the other night. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Janie. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. Uh, so you know, you've got the spanner of doom next to your name again. <laughs> um, let's see. Silent Shadow from Main Haze. Right, is this going to be one of those uh, submarine sims? Oh. Oh. No! It's a versity scrolling shooter up, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first one we're looking at this evening, then. Okay, let me make a note of that. Silent Shadow. Um, actually, I'll, I'll write down a few of the session suggestions coming in now. Hey, enjoy the first lager, Jimmy. Enjoy, my friend. Sean says Brainstorm by Firebird. Okay, Brainstorm, written that down. And Lil Ryu uh, suggests El Capitan uh, Trueno. Now, I know that's a Spanish game. Was it well known in Spain? Or, um, cause it's probably not well, not well known here, but is it a popular one in Spain? Now, that's where it could get a bit awkward because it's really popular in France or Spain, but not in the UK. Are we just looking at hidden gems from a UK perspective or across the world perspective? Hmm, interesting. Mike ZT, good to the Arben, sir. Welcome. Croco Magneto. That's an interesting one. Hmm. Hmm. It was quite. It was well known at the time as being like the best public domain game around for many, many years in the uh, er, in the commercial year era of the Amstrad. Does anyone think that? Does, uh, hmm. does anyone think that Croco Magneto should be uh, ha uh, should be considered a hidden gem, or does anyone strongly disagree? Uh, Mr. Robert Berry, good evening, Rob, aka Rob CMDR Sabotage. How you doing, Rob? Good to see you, mate. Oh, CPC Game Reviews has one for us. Le Secret du Trombo. Is that a text adventure? French text adventure? I assume it wouldn't be if uh, you were able to play and review it. But Mr. Freewood is watching us from Spain. Holla! <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Freewood. How are you? Well, um, if you're if you're a Spanish uh, fan of the Amstrad, let us know if El Capitan Trueno is a hidden gem or not in Spain as well. And Sean also suggests Sir Lancelot. Okay, and then that's the list. I want to stop writing down um, suggestions shortly. Uh, Seems the game review says no, it appeared on an Amstrad Shakur date, so I think it's re relatively well known. That's Croco Magneto. Hmm. Uh, but Sean says I'd vote yes for Croco. Not everyone was crazy in the public domain scene. A lot of the earlier PD games are quite hidden now, overshadowed by near ones. I, I, I will happily take suggestions of public domain games, because essentially they're the homebrew of what we get these days you know we have some excellent homebrew games don't we ladies and gentlemen you know sword of iana the abduction of oscar z certainly nothing to that quality back in the day but hey you never know there might be a few hidden gems in the public domain scene mm. okay right so i'm gonna have a look at a game called silent shadow which is main haze's request as our first game tonight I think this, is, I think this, is, this, is, this could be an interesting um, suggestion. Right, hang on. Um, see runs of games. Sorry. Silent. Oh. Ah! I've opened the wrong disc. Hang on. Silent Shadow. Right, let's have a look at this one then. 
Oh, JBs, good evening. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, not bad loading screen there. Not bad. Oh, music. Black screen, we've got some nice music though. Why is the game giving us a black screen? Unless I've got a bad crack of the game or something. So do not adjust your TV sets, that it is a black screen, but we've got music. It's free for only £80. Pounds. Are you watching me on that? Oh, nice though, JB. He's a nice one, dude. <laughs> you don't want to see my crack, Mikey. I'm not showing that on stream. The tune is actually nice, but I'm, I, I'm afraid if I press a key, it's just going to go to a title screen with no music. <laughs> is that much of a hidden JB can't even see it? <laughs> I really like the music at this point here. Ah. I knew it. Press a key and we're on the title screen with no with no sound. Damn. Okay. All right. Let's go for joystick. Oh, look at that. Two planes moving up and down. Uh, four... One select show now. Five, two jibby. Uh, Juggadors. I think that's players, isn't it? So this is designed to be a two player co op game? Right. Good lord, Mrs. Zai. Good lord. No. <laughs> Alright, same. We've got no music. Let's start the game off. We'll put some background music on in a second. Oh, it's looking good. I don't hear any music, so we'll put some of our own on. But I'll put it down further in the background. Hey, German78 moshing into the stream. Hey, dude, how you going, man? How's it going, man? Just finished work, right? Just in time for the first game. Oh, look at this intro sequence. Oh! Well! Well now! Um, this moves at quite a speed. It, it's fairly smooth. It could, it could do with a, a bit of a higher frame rate. But I can control, control the speed. It, oh god. There's so many planes spawning behind you. Um, it's also quite hard to make out enemies and uh, rockets and stuff going on. Like, loads of planes just sort of spawn behind you. This looks quite good. Um, sound effects are rather limited. But we did have nice music. I think I picked up something there. Oh. And because the frame rate isn't particularly great, uh, it does make it quite hard uh, to make out enemies at times. Maybe I should just go a lot slower. God damn it, they really just like spawn right behind you. Like, I I'm finding it really hard to distinguish enemies here. And that's game over. Whoa! Ooh! Interesting. I had never seen this before. Uh, I never even heard of it before. 
Wow, um, I was initially impressed, but it just chucks enemies from behind it, yeah, and a, a, a big, like, wave of them, and they're really hard to see in places, which is spoiling it, spoiling it a little bit for me. Mm. But, uh, oh, because the people are arriving, hang on a second. Dreamy Artist, hello, Dreamy, how are you doing, Dreamy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. But tonight we're looking for Amstrad games that are um, perhaps forgotten about or uh, are hidden. Undiscovered Amstrad games that are good. Obviously, uh, you never grew up the Amstrad Dreamy, but hopefully you'll enjoy seeing these tonight. Because a lot of people won't have seen these before, either. And we have a Man Shovel arriving. Good evening, Man Shovel. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a small plane area as well, uh, Mikey. And that's uh, not helping matters. Hmm. Bullets are definitely hard to see. Mr. Freewood says, A game of confusing gameplay. You don't really know what, you, what, what you're what doing. And I remember, it, I remember it from the time. So he, he might have owned, owned it back in the day then. Right. Oh, uh, babe. Oh, good luck with Minnie's eye. I'm sorry about that. Um, I hope he settles down soon. Um, let's have another look at this one then again. Let's perhaps go a bit slower. Oh, look, I like that you've got like a mini map to the left there showing you how far you've got to go. That's cool. I like the, I like the intro signal. Straight in and you're, we're already getting wrecked. Yeah, bullets are hard to see. It just keeps spawning behind. Or, or, or like from the sides, but from, but from the bottom of the screen. Look, I, I don't like that. What, why do we need enemies spawning behind you like that? They, they spawn more often from behind than they do bloody in front of you. I don't know what that beef was for. Was that a pickup? Sound effects aren't very good. I mean, I like the graphics, but they're quite hard to make out. There's a green bug thing there. I think I got a power up or points with killing that last time. That's game over. Now, that was me really, really concentrating there. Hmm. Hey, good to hear, Dreamy. She's, feel she's feeling amazing tonight. Tired, but did okay. Good. Great. Awesome. Awesome, Dreamy. Um. Oh, thank you, Brian. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget, guys, to give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream. It will help you get more noticed and put out to pers prospective new people to check it out. I very much appreciate it. I think it's trying to encourage you to be further up the screen. You go faster. Yeah. So as you start to move up the screen, the, uh, the speed starts increasing. Then it becomes impossible to avoid anything. It kind of looks like a race. So the two planes on the bar. Oh yeah, I think there's two planes on that um, bar. You're right. Right, let's have a look. let's have another go. Am I the green plane or the blue plane on that bar? What if I just do this and just spam going diagonally up? A... Yeah, if you destroy the green thing, I think you get a power up. Oh yeah, I am the green plane, look. But 
yeah, I'm getting a bit wrecked doing it like this. But I'm getting a lot further than before. I mean, oh, I, I think I, I, I think I used a smart bomb there. That blue plane is going miles ahead of us there. And we're not catching up with it at all. Hang on, I had... Why did I die there? I died. But I had enough light. I still had like three lives left. Yeah, so this is a weird one. Does anybody know what is, what's supposed to be going on in this one then? So, we were going full speed. But that second plane on the bar. If I just pause it here. You see that? There's a blue plane there. That, we weren't catching up to that at all. That was moving on. We were keeping up with it in the same distance between the two. But we weren't catching up with it at all, going full speed. So that's what I thought OJB is catch the blue plane. But we weren't catching up with it at all. Um, he just sticks the one side spam fire so nothing hits from the front. The problem is, uh, you have um, loads of stuff spam has been spawned from the sides. And usually towards the bottom of the screen. And loads of stuff from... from from the bottom of the screen coming up. Is there an English manual? Let's let's have a look at this one in, in uh, on the CPC Power website. Let's bring it up. Right, there we go. There's the uh, box art. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, this got released on the Kicks budget label in the UK. Uh, mission, escort bomber aircraft over hostile territory to ob obliterate the main enemy base. C uh, control Commander Kushnar in his quest to create a corridor through near impregnable enemy defences for closely following uh, bomber planes to complete their mission and destroy the menacing Kushnar fighter base. Successively on your hands, you play this brilliant new, never before released game from Toposoft. So Kix licensed this specifically for their budget label in the UK. So maybe we might have a, a manual. Damn! We've only got the Spanish manual. Oh. Uh, um. Or are you the blue plane? Oh. Hang on, what's this map of? So, alright, okay, let's get rid of that. That map is not at all helpful. Maybe I'm the blue plane. And we're clearing the way for the bomber coming behind us. Um, Neil, no, I, I, I can't. I think I have played Room 18. But that's a suggestion for a hidden gem. I've made a note of that. From CRL. I, I've added that to the list, Neil. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Looks really good for a budget game. It does, but I think this was actually a full price release in Spain back in the day, by the looks of it. Uh, Google Translate. I can't. It's a screenshot. Not unless you want to uh, wait for an hour while I type it out. <laughs> Simmy, good evening, Mr. Simmy. How are you doing, my friend? How's tricks, dude? Um, let's have a look at this again. Oh, look, there's the green plane. That's what's behind us. Let's try and clear everything out from here. I 
And I'm trying really hard to concentrate here. Because maybe what happened previously that the bomber got destroyed because there was too many uh, ground defences. with us and smacked in behind. What the? That's mad. So we were going too slow. Picked up a special weapon there. What was that banging? Babe, did you hear that banging? Oh, it sounded like a gunshot. Is it a firework? This is Zypho, let me know in the chat what that was. Hey, Henry, good evening, mate. How you doing? Uh, we're looking for hidden gems. Um, you might know some French games, perhaps, Henry, that you could tell us that maybe we've forgotten about. Hmm. Sorry, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I thought I heard a big bang uh, in the house. Might have been outside. Some state of fireworks, I think. I'll see what Mrs. Zai says in the chat. If I don't hear from her, I'll pop up and check. <laughs> um, uh, Zai, there's an interesting comment on CBC Power. Is that, it was actually inspired by Sonic Boom in the arcade. Makes sense given the Sonic Boom wasn't released until 89. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to try and use my smart bombs a little more. So we'll fly really... F oh, God. I said we're going to fly really fast between the two areas. Oh, man. There it is again. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and shout the missus. Oh, hang on, my chat window stopped. Maybe she said something. It'll be a poltergeist. This is Ifo, what's that banging noise? Uh, and Greg McGregor, good evening. How you doing, Greg? <laughs> welcome, my friends, welcome. Bob Winner. I've heard of that one. I've definitely heard of that one. Henry suggests Bob Winner. Um. Oh dear, Mrs. I is not happy. Someone's saying it's fireworks. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. I. Idiots. Um, oh, because isn't it um, end of Ramadan? So they're celebrating this weekend. That's, that's probably really what it was. Probably, probably what it is. Fireworks every time. So your mic isn't picking up wherever the sound is. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good to know. And it's not a ghost. It's not a ghost. Right, let's see how far we can get here then. I've got two lives left. I think we're doing a bit better here. I died. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I changed it. But I saw that I had two lives left and a bit of energy bar. So, this green plane must have been taking damage from something. I think someone, I think someone, I think something must have destroyed the green plane. Maybe we missed like an important missile rocket launcher at one of the bases. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Paul, we don't mention that name in, in, in here ever again, I'm afraid, Paul. You perhaps weren't to know. 
But uh, no, he is uh, unfortunately banned from the stream room and uh, it, uh, we are banned uh, from talking or mentioning um, anything related to that person. Okay. Um, it's just safer, safer for everyone. Um, right. So, I don't know then, guys. Um, do we think this is a hidden gem or not? I'll tell you what, I'll just start it up. On the on the screen here, we'll pause it so you can remember what the graphics are like. I think this is interesting. Let's pause it about there. Let's pause it there. Uh, I think this one's interesting. It, I don't know if the gameplay is there or not. It, I would call it a, hi a hidden. I would definitely cl class it as hidden. So, if you think it's a gem, type exclamation mark gem in the chat. If you think it's a hidden gem. If you think it's not, exclamation mark, no. And we can also do a straw problem with it online, if you prefer to do that. So, is, uh, si what's this called? Silent Shadow a hidden gem? Hidden gem, no. Uh, let's, cr I'm going to create a straw poll. Mm, let some nose in there. So I know not everyone can access um, this, but we're going to do a straw poll. There you go. If you click that link and open it up, you can do a quick vote on whether you think it's a hidden gem or not. Um, it's close to being a hidden gem for me. I think even if I understood more what the game was about and uh, got the instructions... I think I'd still struggle in it because it's really bad how enemies just spawn in uh, swarms behind you and from the bottom sides and coming at you like that. Uh, it's not fun uh, avoiding them. It, uh, the frame rate isn't great either, which makes it even more difficult uh, to different, differentiate an enemy playing from the background graphics as well. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to vote. Let's have a look. So I've got some votes coming in now. At the moment, in the straw poll, eight votes to four for no. We're seeing lots of no's in the chat there as well. And you can do exclamation mark poop as well. I'll class that as a no. Uh, says, I'm, I'm on the fence. Technically, it's impressive. I'm trying to do something different. Bullets are a bit hard to see. Gameplay isn't clear, but once you understand it, it may be more fun. Hmm. Yeah. Brian reckons it's a potential gem. That's what I'm thinking as well. Um, the actual on the screen is practically not distinguished. For me, that penalises it a lot. Yeah, you can't really distinguish between enemy planes and the background. The enemy planes need to be a different colour or something like that than the background uh, to make it really stand out. So, yeah, I think the vote's coming. 11 votes... A nope and plenty of nopes and poops and stuff in the chat there. Mrs. Zypho thinks it might be a hidden gem. Good for you, babe. Good for you. And GP, good evening, naughty naughty boy. GP, how are you doing, my friend? Um, Nibrick says looks good, but needs some polishing. No gem, but could be. There you go. I think I agree. Um, so I think it's fairly clear then that Silent Shadow, an excellent suggestion from Mame Haze. I'm really glad you suggested that because I do love finding like good scrolling shoot em ups on the Amstrad uh, but unfortunately it is not a gem. The chat has spoken but an excellent honestly an excellent su suggestion there. Well done. Well done. Good stuff. Um, it's just all a bit too busy. I agree yeah. Hey, Old Style Gaming, OMG, it's OSG, what is Nightbot doing? We're voting on whether a game is a hidden gem or not. So exclamation mark gem, if you think it's a, if it's a hidden gem. Exclamation mark no, if you don't think so. So welcome, OSG, you just missed this one. Uh, I'll just show you it quickly. This scrolling shooter book, it looks initially really, really nice. But it needs a better frame rate. Enemies spawn from behind you constantly. Making it a pain in the absolute arse to play. Oh, there was tanks there to destroy. Yeah.
What I've just noticed is there's a counter on the green ship. That was on eight just a second ago. It's gone down to seven. So maybe something is destroying the green bombers behind us, and there's a, a, there's a counter of them. So there you go. Uh, there you go. That, that, I think that's that was what killed me last time. Oh, Gangrel. Good evening, Gangrel. How you doing, man? You didn't get a notification from YouTube. Bloody hell. Have you got? Have you actually got notifications turned on for the channel? Hey, good to see you again, GP. How have you been, my friend? Right, okay. We're going to move on to the next game then. So, unfortunately, that is not a hidden gem. But an excellent suggestion. Next one that came in was a game called Brainstorm. I think um, Sean M. Neary suggested this one. So, this is Brainstorm. It's like trying to read tea leaves, but predicted the future. Yeah, a bit. I see what you mean. Hit a smart bomb and check the status of that uh, green ship. Oh, too late now. We moved on. Maybe just... Oh. Oh, may maybe we were hurting it with a smart bomb. Nice music here. I'll let you have a listen while I, ju I adjust the uh, fan behind me. Hang on. of lemmings this tune <laughs> you got this free with c and vg magazine in 1989 they did cover tape did they i press five start um start screen uh, do you know what this seems familiar oh we got a mouse pointer We better go for easy. Start screen A. Right. Play game. Um, I'm gonna pause this there. We we have seen this. We have seen this on an AM stream before. And Sean says read the manual. Oh no. Okay, I'll I'll have a quick look. I I I can't just ignore hidden gems because um I'm gonna have to read a manual, but I'll have a quick read. Hang on, let me get this up there. Hey, Wayne! Mr. Mr. Wayne Jordan, good evening, dude. Welcome, my friend. How's it going, my friend? And what are you up to at the moment? How's the coding going, as I always... <laughs> excuse me, as I always ask. All right, let's have a look here. Brainstorm is an arcade strategy game. At the beginning of the game, you will see one or two balls bouncing around a coloured grid. The object of the game is to trap the balls on a red area of the grid, since your score will depend on the time the ball spends travelling over each particular coloured area of the screen. Right, the game is played over to get each representing different ones of trapping the ball. The lines which are used to trap the ball can be selected by moving the pointer to one of the cyan, yellow, and white bars with the control panel on the right and press the fire. With the selected bar will play so now move the pointer onto the plane area and press fire. The line you've selected will move across the grid to the position of the pointer. Right, okay. Uh, in order to complete the screen uh, successfully, you, your present finishing score must be greater than the score on finishing the previous screen. Right, okay. The screen displays two scores. Top is your score upon finishing the previous screen. One below is your present score. Right. If your present score is better than the last, it will show red always be magenta. If your score goes below zero, you first score. Turn the second score red. Right, okay. The grid. Black and blue have no effect on the ball as it passes over them. Red increases your score. Magenta loses you points. And green will cause your ball to jump random, randomly to another part of the grid. So keep it off magenta, but get it in red. 
Stage of the bonus line will double your speed of scoring, whether it be positive or negative. Whilst the bonus line the lines cannot be drawn, therefore, so this is best used after the ball has been trapped in a red area. Right. I think I've got the gist of this. Red, good, magenta, bad. Uh, and there's the box art for it. Okay, right. Uh, uh, what's that team? Uh, Boris is now saying we won't be free. It's a very from India is coming. I've told my non to be careful. Oh my god, GP. The, the, the bad jokes there. Uh, Boozer reckons he's played this. Mm. Uh, sorry for reading there. So it's kind of a bit of a uh, Kix clone. Yeah, if you pronounce it like that. Q-I-X. Right, yeah. Thank you, Nish, as well, for the summary there. Uh, Alright, okay. The ball hasn't started yet. How do we... Oh, I see. All oh, right, okay, we've got to trap it in the red area. Bugger. Oh. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I'm slowly. What do you reckon? So we got it in the red area. It's going to go a bit on the blue. But is that the way to do it? So we've got to keep that ball on the red area as long as possible, right? Quite cool. So Henry asks, where's this game from? So it was a budget release in the UK from Firebird Software. So this is a budgie, guys. A budgie. Uh, wait, this code is going well. It's put on the back burner for a bit while I work on other projects. Once I get back to it, it's ready for some live testing. Can't wait, Wayne. Can't wait. Um, again, keep in touch, man. And maybe we can help you out of the Amstrad side of stuff. What colour is magenta? Good point. I think you can see the magenta on this screen, Gangrel. There. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting. How are we going to keep this in red? I think we've got to trap it in one of those areas. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> hey, Ziprawl, good evening. Uh, it says, I went quite for a few years since I bought a new home, uh, but now I'll send it. Hey, excellent, Ziprawl, congratulations on getting a new house. That's fantastic, and good to hear you're all settled in, because moving home and buying homes is like one of the most stressful things in the world. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you all got it sorted. Oh, magenta's a very bright colour. Oh, it must be, th this must be the magenta. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to do then is we're going to make a little area here. Like so. Oh! Damn. Arse. Right, I've screwed it up. Bugger. How do I... Oh, man. How do I erase what I've done? I'm, I'm going to die here, aren't I? Hang on. Let's do that again. So we're going to make this shape here. Oh, we're wasting so much time. Oh, look, the time. I've only got 10 seconds left. 
Damn! Yeah, I'm going to stay out of the blue, get in the red. So what I was going to try and do is make a little area... Hmm. Can we start? Oh, we, ha we have to do the first level again. Let's do that again quickly then. Actually, what we need to do is try and trap it in this bottom right corner of the screen or something like that. Good. Right, okay. Okay, we've got it there at the bottom. Damn. There. That'll do. There you go. So that's the first, that's how you do the first screen. All right. We'll see, if we'll, we'll, see, we'll see if we can do the second screen, and then we'll vote on it. But if it takes me too long on the second screen, I'll just move on anyway. But I, I'm liking this. Uh, Dream says, oh gosh, I usually don't like puzzle games. This one already gave me a headache. Thank you too much. I know, I'm generally not a fan of puzzle games either. So we'll, actually, let's take a snappy here. Also, guys, do you have any suggestions for strategies on this level? Uh, let me just take a snappy here. So this is called Brainstorm B. Right, okay. This is called Brainstorm, Matt Corbin. And welcome, Matt. Nice to see you here. Bright and early as well. How are you doing, my friend? Have you just finished work in America? Uh... Simi would have uh, would have thrown this game out pretty quickly by the sounds of it. Ryan is eating a pickled onion monster munch sandwich whilst oh, is that a sandwich or just monster munch? Sorry, while well, watching some Amstrad game, it feels like 1986. Excellent, dude. You just need some fizzy panda pop to go with it, and you're sorted. Um, house tricks, I'll start gaming anyway, my friend. How you doing, man? Keep out, um, <laughs> Rob says, keep out the magenta and in the red. Nothing in the game for two in the bed, so I was super smashing great. <laughs> GP, I would love a mullet. I would love a mullet. <laughs> uh, apparently this was programmed by Pete Cook, who handled the CPC port of Stunt Car Racer. Pretty much everything he did was great. Some good stuff here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I understood, Sean. And thankfully, the manual didn't take me long to read there, so... So, 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 so. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to use the white. No. I'm going to use this to try and trap it in the bottom left. Sorry, bottom right section there. Okay. So we've got this down here. And what I'm going to. No! Oh, no! Right. And then we're going to move that here. Right. And now we're going to try and use the white. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Quick. Oh! We're going to try and trap it in that Oh! <laughs> Man trouble! Oh my goodness, at the five dollars! Let's send off some dancing chuggers there. It says Friday night, make it rain, Am Squad. Let's see the bananas rain down for the man shovel. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Man Shovel, you have been an absolute heavy metal legend, man. Thank you, Man Shovel. It's very kind of you. First big bananas there of the night, apart from the uh, patrons earlier. Thank you. Oh, exclamation mark put for Man Shovel. 
Man Shibble does indeed like his pudding. There you go. Have some fun on me. Thank you, man. Um, right. Are you getting a bit of a laggy stream, GP? Sorry to hear that, dude. I don't think it's my end, I'm afraid, dude. Try lowering, lowering the uh, resolution. And I think... Yeah. Arse. We'll screw that up. We'll try that one more time. Right. We're going to trap in that bottom section there. With the white, I'm going to try and... Right, see what I'm doing now, guys, okay? Oh, no! Oh, this is a disaster! through there oh. oh the stream stopped for a few seconds for you there as well oh. I think that's YouTube not me yeah great strategy there all right mr. big Ed, mr. clever clogs OSG you try you try and solve this level <laughs> cheeky cheeky old Victor Mel Drew <laughs> um, yeah the physics weren't great there how are the balls just still bouncing between those things? He should have gone by... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Chuckle Brothers strategy. All right, I'll give that one more try. One more try, and then we're moving on, and we're voting. Right, we've got to get it trapped there. I like the ass... What was it we were doing the white here? that there I'm taking I think I'm taking too long that's part of the problem as well oh for God's sakes no This rubbish. Mm. No, the physics are the physics are broken on this. No, no. Nice try, nice idea, but the physics aren't right, are they, guys? What do you, Sean? What do you reckon? I really like the idea of this game. I really do, but um, the physics aren't working. Really, it it, it gets stuck in loops. Ah, this is uh, for me. This is so close to being a hidden gem. I don't know. What? Chat for before we vote. Chat thoughts thoughts. And has anyone played this before? And am I just am I am I just really crap at it? Basically, am, am I playing it wrong? I'm making a poll here. No. Right, let's make a little poll here. Right, I'm going to put a poll up as well. Um, this game doesn't look annoying at all. I'm already annoyed by it. 
Yes, I was just thinking about the, that, Sean, the Arkanoid Syndrome, where the ball gets stuck and it just goes back and forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, should have drawn a willy, lol. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. We keep doing it. We keep doing uh, drawing willies on the Amstream. Not, not this time. Polter, good evening, Polter. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing, Polter? There you go. Link to the straw poll in the chat there. You can also vote in the chat if you want to. Or do do both. Do both if you want to. If you think it's a gem, exclamation mark gem. If you think it's not a gem, exclamation mark no. So, oh, do you know what? I'm so undecided on this one. Maybe. It's so close to being a gem, but those, those physics are broken. So I'm going to go with no. Let's have a look at the results then. Oh my goodness, 13 for no and 3 for yes. Sean's giving it a gem. Do you know what, Sean? It's so close for me for being a gem, but I can't forgive those physics there. It's so necessary. Yeah, I can see the potential in 2J. I mean, also as well, it's a budget game. So it would have only been about £1.99, maybe £2.99 tops. Oh, here's the Anders cat. Hello. Oh, I might, um, we might have a kitty cat on stream. Hello, Motley. Would anybody like to see an Anders cat? He's, he's under my desk at the moment, right here. Where are you going? Come here. Come on, Motley. While you're voting, I'll see if I can get the Ams cat on the stream. Come on. Come on, then. Oh. We do have a kitty. Will the camera pick him up? Oh, you can't see him. Oh. oh, Matt Corbin. <laughs> you scared the Ams cat off. <laughs> I tried. You, you did see the pussy cat. You got a bit of the pussy cat there. <laughs> there we go. Have a dancing Lord Sugar and some fireworks. Matt Cor oh my goodness, of ten. Whoa! You can have all the uh, dancing sugars for that. Thank you, Mr. Matt Corbin. Bloody hell, mate. Let's see the bananas rain down for Matt Corbin there. Holy crap. OJBs, uh, uh, remind me on that in a minute. We'll start taking some more suggestions shortly. Bloody hell. What's the matter, Motley? Oh, he's all grumpy at me. <laughs> he sat there swift swishing his tail like this he's, he's, he's in a bad mood now because i picked him up but thank you mr matt corbin you briefly saw the ams pussy there yes and mrs ipo has put a rough on him he looks bloody ridiculous right so unfortunately it's not a gem 18 votes to four uh mixed gems and no's there in the chat definitely got potential that one uh, but unfortunately, it is not a gem. Unlucky, unlucky. Excellent. Again, suggestion, Sean. Excellent. We did have a look at this on an AM stream not too long ago as well. But uh, we eventually worked it out. I, re I remember it now. Right, next one, next suggestion was El Capi... Oh, God. Capi uh, Capitan True Trueno. Oh, yeah, El Capitan Trueno was the next uh, suggestion. You do love a black pussy at 80s Retro Gamer. Excellent stuff. Excellent. Cat Shuffle is busy looking at the birds outside. <laughs> Excellent. I'm so pleased you called your cat Cat Shuffle. And Matt, thank you again, mate. That's very, very kind of you. Cheers, my dude. Oh, Motley drooled on me. 
horrible cat. Uh, nice loading's picture there. Right. No music though here. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm just nipping to the fridge very quickly because I've just finished my drink. I think I need to wash, wash my hands after picking up Motley. <laughs> I will be right back in like 30 seconds, guys. Be right back. One sec. Uh, put the music up a bit. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for sticking with us there. Just got yourself a fresh drink. Hey, Batman77, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, 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 oh. Vimto has donated three pounds. Hang on, who's that? There's refresh your taste buds with a refreshing refresh your taste buds with a refreshing Vimto and play some retro games. Why thank you. Looks like I'm being sponsored by Vimto now. That's fantastic. <laughs> Let the bananas rain down for Vimto there. Who was that? Was that GP? Let's see if I can find out. <laughs> It must be Flibble. Are you blaming Flibble, GP? No! That's that I know it's you, GP, I know. It's Flibble isn't here yet. Thank you. Unfortunately, I'm off the Vimto. But I can't drink Vimto anymore. It has sucralose in it, and we think sucralose is a trigger for my uh, migraines. Never mind. <laughs> well thank you there for the guys all the bananas. Right, anyway, let's see what this is like then. <coughs> Captain Trueno. Uh, Ariba. What's that? Uh, Ariba. Oh. A Bajo. I'm sure I pressed two for joystick. Bajo is down. It's queer though. Oh my god. Uh, I'm trying to do a quick uh, Google translate. U I E R D E R D A. Left. That'll be right. Gold pay. What's gold pay? Blow. That translates to blow. Who, who are we blowing in this game? Oh, it might mean kick or hit. Right. Capitan. It means captain. I'll, uh, I'll press second buy button. Crispin. A fart? Goliath. Pause it. All right. Quick. I have no idea what that was there. Okay. Oh, Brian, thank you for the translations there, my friend. Much appreciated. I thought there'd be too much uh, chat delay. Um, 
Hey, Greg Lyris. Hey, welcome, mate. Good evening. Welcome to the Amstream, my friends. We're looking for hidden Amstrad gems tonight. And uh, thanks to the cat compliment there as well. <laughs> Crispin Glover. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't seem to want to start. That's interesting. Okay, two for joystick. There we go. I would say, okay. It's a single screen affair. Um, it does look nice. Okay, you've got a sword. Collect coins from enemies you vanquished. Oh, I've just turned into Crispin. He can jump a lot higher. And Goliath. Doesn't move at all. Right, so you can change between characters. Oh, and I just died. Okay, so um, so different characters can have uh, be useful in different situations. The big Goliath guy for like big battles, maybe against bosses. The what was it? What was it? The Crispin guy for jumping. Oh, maybe we might need him here. The, the looks like there's a switch there on the. Ah! So we must have opened something there. Hey, FC Denha, good evening, my friend. I hope you're doing okay, buddy. I think enemies will just keep spawning over and over. Oh, there's now a rope there. Okay. Let's see. I can't seem to climb up it. Damn it. Oh, but this guy can. That is, that's actually quite cool. I'm liking this. Let's see what the chat's saying then. Uh, Polter says nice graphics. What is on the Am shirt tonight, says Brian. Oh, a treat. For those of you who didn't see it. I've got the Lord Sugar t-shirt. That Mr. Flibble Sad Simon Osborne got me. There you go. <clears throat> I have never heard of Star Dodger, OJB. So is that your suggestion? We'll be taking some more shortly. Oh, Lil Ryu says, Captain can attack and jump. Goliath can jump and kill everyone. The other can jump and climb but cannot fight. Mm. And Greg, sir, is Captain Trono is based on an old Spanish comic I recall. And you had this game back in the day. Really? Uh, uh, Greg, are you based in Spain? Uh, or did this come out in the UK? I shall have a look on CPC Power shortly. Uh, Bryce says he seems to play like the Lost Vikings. Do you know, and yes, Jay, you're right. Bottom left corner, he does look a bit like Bruce Campbell. Uh, oh, this is a gem. Oh, oh, this is already a gem then for me. I'm playing as Bruce freaking Campbell. <laughs> Hey, Gezzer, the mass reviewer. Good evening, dude. Um, you missed my early message about Death Talk. Oh, I apologise, matey. Sorry if it gets swallowed by the chat. It does move quite fast sometimes. Death Talk. I wasted many an hour playing on it. Well, that, we'll have to put that to the chat. Is Because uh, I think Death Talk is quite a well-known Home Masters game, to my mind. But to other people, it might be different. 
Chat, so is Deathstalker a hidden game? Do we think it's a hidden game? If, if you do, if enough people think it is, we'll have a look at it. Oh, right, you're not from Spain, but from Greece. Right, okay, okay. Hmm, I'll have to see if there was an, uh, an English release of this, then. Alright, can't go that way. Uh, go back to the captain. Oh, 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 right, you can duck, but you can't swing your sword while ducked. Bugger. What the hell is that thing? I do like the graphics, the presentation on this. Just go. We don't. We don't have to kill every enemy. I think because uh, I think they respawn. It's a shame it's single screen and doesn't uh, scroll though. I will say. And I think it's a bit annoying that. It just, uh, enemies just respawn forever. Is that a door we need to go into? Or look out for a switch or something then. Ah, oh, there's a rope here. We'll have to climb up that. Can we go? We can't go to the right there. But this guy can climb up it. He's rang the bell. Let's turn it to Bruce Campbell. Oh, it died. No. Does that mean we have to ring the bell again? I thought ringing the bell might open that door or something. If I just pause my music here. So we rang the bell. Okay, there we go. Actually, let's turn my music down a bit. It's a bit too loud. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's turn into this guy. But, oh, there's a switch here. Oh, I like that. Oh, isn't that cool? I like that. I'm actually, I'm actually well impressed by this game. Uh, uh, were we actually guys? We were talking a minute ago about Deathstalker. Uh, let's see what the chat's saying. Um, Deathstalker is a hidden gem, definitely a hidden gem for Brian. Z Prowl hasn't heard of it. Uh, uh, hang on, OSG says, Sorry for, as, the, as the king of not causing controversy, I just want to run something by you. I asked Lucas for a video idea, and he would said, and I said I would love to see an ST basher. Amiga games that peed all over the ST ports. Maybe you could edit the title. Do you think that will cause friction? Uh, the thing is, I I I I I, I like the ST as well as the, as well as the Amiga. Are you looking at me and helping me with a video there? Uh, oh, are you looking for suggestions on a better title for the video? <laughs> Chat, 
Sean doesn't think Deathstalk was hidden at all. Uh, Brian thinks it was. Oh, sorry. Brian does think it was common. Uh, Bratman says it's a fun game, but not hidden. But Snisters think Deathstalk is perhaps one, not one of uh, Co-Master's better known games. I think it might be classed as hidden. Hmm. Robin thinks Deathstalk is not hidden. Uh... Lil Riley says, if you pause the game, you can use your coins. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, energy and lives, right? Oh, that's kind of cool. Thank you. Um, thank you, Lil Ryu. Thank you. OJ Beeson think it's hidden. Um, hmm. The objects in the foreground are annoying. It's a nice effect, but yeah, that, can, that could get annoying if it's used too much. Is that Marlon Brando in the middle? It might be Brian. Um, okay. Um, GP is a deaf stalker. Zypher tells me to go away and leave his bins alone, but I keep going. <laughs> Very true. No, I'm saying that Lucas is trying to get me shot. And it's too late you started it. Oh. That's gonna be a actually uh, that's gonna be a tough video to do because generally there wasn't a great deal of difference. So if, if the Amiga got an SD port, they're often oh Oh rats, it's like a run run on the ropes here. Oh I just got eaten by the rats. Ew I don't know how you get past them. Uh-oh. Oh, you could go here. Oh, no. I think I'm about to die here. Oh, this has opened up this room here. What on earth is this? Will I, will I die if I go... <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Well, that was Captain uh, uh, Trueno. If I just pause it here. Um, let's have a quick look at it. Uh, see if there was a UK release for that one. We'll have a quick look at it on a CPC Power website. Um, uh, Trueno. Oh! Whoa! Holy crap! Gerard O'Reilly! Gerard? Um uh, Wow! Who are you in the chat here? What's what's um what's your um username here in the chat? Whoa! Gerard has just become a four pound Patreon! Holy crap! Thank you, my friend! Thank you! And, uh, oh, why is, why is my Streamlabs not updating? Uh, wow, thank you. Who was that in the chat? I mean, it might have happened not on the stream, but, um... Holy crap. Whoa, what is the night for Patreons tonight? Thank you so much, uh, Gerard. Um, um, uh, bananas and puddings in the chat. Uh... Yeah, I need to search for... I think I spelled Trueno wrong. Have I? Yeah, th th thank you, uh, Mike ZT. Thank you, uh, Gerard. Um, if you're in the chat, say hello. And it's it's me. It's Mike. I've got a different username on YouTube or something. And I'll, I'll give you some love in the chat. 
thank you very, 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 very much. Well. Oh, it's Gaze of the Master Reviewer. All oh, right, thank you. Right, there you go. Well, Geza, you now got the uh, Spanner of Doom next to your name now. So if you refresh, you, you'll see yourself in the chat um, with, the, with the Spanner there. And you don't have to do any moderator duties. It's just so I can give you uh, highlight you as a member of the AM Squad. Welcome to the AM Squad. Enjoy all the old posts and videos on there. I try and do one every Sunday. And uh, if you're in my Discord, you can link Patreon to Discord. And it'll give you a special role in there. That will unlock uh, several private channels of stuff in Discord. There's a link to my Discord if you're not already in it. Uh, it should pop up any second. Gezer, thank you, mate. So there you go. It was Gezer who uh, signed up there. Thank you, my friend, again. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, Capitan Tureno. What? There's a public domain game of the same name. Right, let's have a quick look. Oh, someone's done a CPC Plus version of it. Okay, ignore that. So, Captain Trueno. Did this ever come out on the on the UK? This is from Dynamic. Uh, there's the box art. Quite nice box art, that. Doesn't look like there was a UK release. Let's have a look at the discs. I think it was Spanish only. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, there's the map for the first level. Ah, uh, right. Okay, you can see on the map here we went, uh, rang there, climbed up here, all the way across here, rang that bell, got through the door, came in through there. Um... Oh, we need to put... It looks like it says drop diamond. So we need to, needed to find a diamond of some sort. Oh, I see. You could have gone in there. Gone all the way around there. Down there. Over here. And there's a boss to fight. Oh, you get the diamond then. Put the diamond... Oh, okay. So there's a diamond to pick up there. We did actually get to that place, and this is where we died. I think we put the diamond in here. I don't know how you were meant to do that, but hey. Um, oh, also, apparently, there's two parts to the game. So there's another whole part to the game. This looks really good, guys. I really like that. I kind of want to play more of it. Would you object if I play a bit more, guys, or shall we move on? Uh, yeah, you need to link Patreon to Discord. Uh, link pay Discord to Patreon. I'll, I'll post the link in the chat. Uh, but this is for you. Uh, this is this link here is for Geza and for Sean. There, there you go. Play part two. I think I need a code for it. Uh, right, okay, okay. Uh, just catch it up there. Uh, guess there are attracted a message there. Okay, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see more. It says, uh, try the second part. Okay, if I can see if there's a code for the second part. Uh, there is. I've got the code here. It's on there. Right, well, look, we'll load up the second part and have a look at it. I legit actually want to play through this game. Um... I'm quite liking it. Let's load it up again. And we'll pick the second part. And you know what, guys? You might as well vote now. If you want to. Exclamation mark gem. If you think it's a gem, exclamation mark no. If you don't think it is. Um, I'm going to create, create a poll as well. Is a hidden... Gem. Yes. Gem. Oh, hang on. Uh, no. And we'll create a poll as well. And we'll have a look at the poll in a minute. Lots of gem votes coming in there. 
We've also got a um, we've also got a poll there. Click the link if you want to vote. I'm gonna go yes, uh, and I'll bring the poll in just a minute. Oh my god, that's hard to read. Oh, what does this remind me of? Reminds me of uh, Deliverance, maybe, or Satan, or Jim Power. Oh, I mean, this scrolls. Oh, and I died. Actually, it reminds me of Savage a little bit. God damn it, stop spawning. Bloody pain in the asses. Oh, how do you grab onto the road? Myth, yeah. This actually has some scrolling. Oh! Oh, don't worry, it's not another new Patreon. That's, um. That's Gerard changing his name on Patreon, and it it generates a new it generates a new alert. So, but thank you, Geza. All right, you changed your name on Patreon, basically there. So thank thank you, man. Thank you again. Um, let's have a look at the um, voting here. Let's have a look. Uh, Twelve votes to zero on it being a gem there, and lots of gems in the chat. We're liking this. We are. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this is a gem. Ladies and gentlemen, if I just turn off the browser capture here, this is our first gem of the night. Hurrah! You get a spinning gem for it there. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. We'll have a, just a little play a little bit longer and then we'll move on to the next one. Hey, Matt Myers. Good evening, my friend, as well. Good evening to the AMS crew and... Welcome, Matt. Yes. And Alex Ogle as well. Good evening. So similar to Myth, but in Mode North. Yeah, I'll go with that too. Yeah, this is very savage. Very much like savage. Especially the constantly spawning bloody enemies. Oss. Right, the only thing is, I don't know how you grab onto a road. Huh? How do you grab onto a rope there? Does anybody, does anybody know who's played this? Mr. Zen Zero, good evening as well, my friend. Um, and uh, thank you for the Bravo there. Nice video. <laughs> oh, Nibrig, good night, my friend. Oh, you have to change into the characters. Oh, but my controls weren't working. This is on a demo. I'm just not... Oh, he's got a double. And then he got wrecked. Whoa, that looks cool. We're going to... I'll tell you what, though. I think we might have a proper playthrough of this on Twitch. Um, It's El Captain Trueno. And I think we found a hidden gem here. For those of you watching from Spain tonight, is this a well-known game in Spain? Oh, thank you, Little Ryan. That's very kind of you to say so. Thank you. You're great too, Little Ryan. Hey, GP. Good night, dude. 
thank you for the dodo earlier as well, matey. Much appreciated. Uh, take care, man. We'll miss you. So it's all about changing between the characters. Uh, unfortunately, I need to redefine the controls. Uh, Rebuilds up, down, left, right, punch. Captain. Right, okay, I got it now. <laughs> he just wrecks everyone like that. So we need to change into that dude. Oh no, I changed too late. Oh, I pressed the wrong key. I'll try that again. Right, I need to press C when I... Oh no! We had it there. Okay, I've got the timing wrong there. Ah! Oh man. You just go for playing with lives. Oh, I see. If I didn't enter the code, I only get one life for the game. So you get the code at the end of the first part. And that will give you the chance to play with lives on. Right, okay. This is such a cool game. I, re Ooh. I really like this. I legit want to play more of it. But I will stop in a second because we want to have a, a variety of games tonight. But this is cool. Need this guy. No! That's exactly where he dies on the demo as well. Alright, I'll leave it there. But I think I might um I might have a playthrough of this on Twitch next week. So if you want to see more El Captain Trueno. I think I'll be playing this on maybe Monday on Twitch. But that's really cool. I like that. Hey, my chicken not raw. Good evening, dudes. Welcome, my friends. Is this a first game? Nope. Next no, on standard Amstrad CPC 464, my friend. And Mr. Craig Harrison. Good evening, Craig Spar. You are indeed fast to be late. What have you been up to, dude? Oh, uh, she's got to go. Um, early night as New Star Gaming has a big match tomorrow. Some important people coming to watch him. Night, night, everyone. Hey, OSG, good night, dude. Thanks for, thanks for popping in, matey. And good luck with your Amiga vs. ST video. <laughs> right. So there you go. That was great. Hey, Don. Don as well. Good evening, Don. GG's. There we go. Are you coming back at 1am, are you, Neil? No worries, my friends. No worries. Oh, hang on. Right, we're going to move on to the next game now. Okay, so. Um, next game was Les Secrets uh, du Tombeau. I think this was what? I think this was from um, CPC Game Reviews, Nish. Now, I'm not sure what this game is about. I, I don't, from the sound of it, it might be a, a text adventure, but I don't, I don't think he would suggest that. But that was a good game. Uh, I think this game has crashed loading. Hang on. Uh, must be secret. I think, we lo I think we loaded the wrong file.
Whoa. Let's pause the music there. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, we can shoot. Right, okay. Oh, he shoots in four directions. Right. I killed a snake here. Oh, I collected some gold, I think. Oh, that's a switch that opens and closes doors. Okay. Oh, this looks kind of cool. It's a bit basic. A hidden door there. Was there like a gold bar or something or a jewel I just picked up there so this is called Le Secret de Tombo Tombo I'll put the full title in the in the chat there uh, if we just Google translate that the secret of the tomb this is cool then so this is the secret of the tomb but I don't think it ever got released in the UK. Oh, sorry. Henry has already translated it there. Thank you, Henry. Uh, a Badia de Crimen. Uh, I haven't, Mr. Freakwood, because it was Spanish only. But I've heard someone has tried to do an English translation of it. Yeah, Geza. The fiery sun is very similar to the Galactic Plague. Yeah, yeah. Right, so what happens when we go in the water here? Oh, it says something about you've only got 15 seconds. Hang on, so where does... There's an exit down there. If you go too far, you can't... That's interesting. The further you go, areas get hidden because of your, eyes, your eye line or something like that. How far you can see forward. Interesting. So this is too far forward. So, so I think we need to go to the right there. Okay. Oh, apparently I played a cracked version with uh, Infinite Life. Who else has played this one in the chat? Hands up if you have. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, it's something to read there, but uh, I unfortunately I, uh, I I can't read French. Is this giving us any hints? Oh, I pushed the switch there. Uh, Intrepid in Explorer. Trouve le text. Sacre il vu. Livron le secrets de mam demeur. What, what, what's that translate to, Henry? Do you know? There is indeed an English translation called The Abbey of Crime, and I was involved in the project. Is it finished and playable? Nish. Um, I don't think it's a hidden gem, but um, hell, I might want to do a playthrough of that on Twitch or something like that. Magic Knight, good evening, Magic Knight. Hey, how's it going, my friend? Nice to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Excellent, Sean. You managed to get into the Discord thing. Brilliant. 
top stuff. Um. <laughs> no, I think there's too much of a chat delay. Oh, you can't see the characters on your crappy phone. No worries, Henry. Man, I wish someone had done an English version of this. This would have been this would have been badass. I think. Right, let's just test these walls here. It's a bit clunky moving sometimes. You literally have to hold the key for about a few seconds. Interesting. Uh, oh, there's a door here. I quite like this game. Well, I'll get some water or something, maybe. Oh. You could destroy the trees. Do we want... I don't know if we wanted to destroy everything here or not, but oh well. Oh, I don't think I'm meant to be able to get this far. I think, I think uh, I would have run out of oxygen by now. Swimming. So obviously, I think I've skipped forward a few sections that I'm not supposed to get to. So I think I've played a cracked version of cheats on. But at least we can have a little look. Look, there's your oxygen running down there. Ten, nine, eight. I was. Like, I would have normally died there. Oh, there's a code for like a door or a lift here. Error. So we need to find a code from somewhere. So it's a bit of an adventure, adventure maze explorer map as well. This is really cool. But the, my only issue is, um, there, I don't think there's an English version of the game. So let's have a look on CPC Power website. We're going to have a search for it. Let me get the browser capture up. Um, let's have a look. <laughs> the box up there. Maybe you can see his face or not. But um But this looks a really cool game. It looks like it never got a UK release. Just French text there in the box. Yeah, French there, French. Oh, it got a Spanish uh, translation. Let's set Le Secreto. De la Tumba. So Spain got a version. Uh, but the UK didn't. There's the ending sequence. What a cool game. Um, it's a shame that we don't have an English language version. Because you're going to have to like translate it. Hmm. I would, I would love a game like this if someone translated it. I, I think I would play this quite a bit. I would probably do a Twitch playthrough working it out. Um. Oh, we've got some people joining I missed there. Sorry. Um. Nish, I'll have to have a look at that. The Abbey of Crime. Yes, we might do a Twitch of that. So, yeah. Um... 
We're going to vote in just a second. Hey, Jerry BDN, welcome to the stream. Street on Spanish, and I had the best, I uh, had the luck to play that from a point of view. It's one of the best games for the amateurs, that is uh, Abadia del Crimen. I can't wait to check that out then, actually. Henry says, you're definitely playing a crack version as you ran out of O2 without oxygen without a diet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. This is a tough one to vote on. But, guys, do you think this is a, a, um, a hidden gem? Or, or not? Exclamation mark gem in the chat if you think it's a hidden gem. Exclamation mark no if you don't think it is. The problem is that for us UK people, um, there is it's going to be hard to play. We're going to have to have Google Translate on hand. It's definitely hidden to us. I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go gem on this one. So, I'm going to post a link in the chat. The poll... Hey, Simon, just uh, good evening. He says he just joined. What's the game? That was called Le Secret de Tombo, The Secret Tomb. Uh, it's a French and Spanish only game. Uh, but I'm voting, I'm voting that as a hidden gem. Uh, oh, this might... Oh, there we go. Votes are coming in. Five already for hidden gem. Uh, somebody's not thinking it's a hidden gem there in the chat. Two people don't think it's a hidden gem. Two people do the gems. I'm definitely going with gem. I think. I think. Uh, I, I would actually. Might, I would actually spend the time writing all the text out and translating it. Wow. There's several games I've got. Uh, I'm gonna do a playthrough on Twitch. I think of. Uh, so it's nine votes to four. We need a conclusive margin to say it's a gem. I would say. At the moment, I'm gonna. I, I'm. I, I think it's a gem. Oh, even though I suggested I don't rate it as a gem, as you only have one life. If you weren't playing the crack version, really. Okay, so this so this might actually be a lot harder than it is. I think enemies are on you very, very quickly, so you've got to be very careful. There's the map for the game. That looks kind of cool. We could work from that map as well. Nice, nice. All right, let's. Um, Eleven votes to five. I see quite a lot of gems in the chat there, guys. I'm going to declare this a hidden gem. I think there's enough there to say hidden gem. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, so we have our second hidden gem of the night, ladies and gentlemen. So the secret tomb is a hidden gem. Thank you everyone for voting there. Well done, well done. And yeah, I might start a playthrough of that on Twitch. Hmm. Um, oh, Retro on Lim. Good evening, Retro on Lim. How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, there's no English version, Henry, but I might uh, sit there and do a Google Translate, write, write it all out for us. Hmm. All right, okay, so the next game tonight suggested was Sir Lancelot. I have a feeling, though, we have played this. Wasn't this the game that Mame Haze suggested a while ago? Right, let's pause my music here. <laughs> okay. Nice little music here. Uh, bear with me just two secs, guys.
Sorry about that. Just had to blow my nose quick. Um, how's drinks retro on Lynn? Ah, uh, who requested this earlier? There's tanks. Sir Lancelot versus tanks. Uh, oh, I've seen this before. And I've played this before. Actually, this this controls quite nicely. Not a bad little manic miner type clone. Oh no! I've got to go all the way back. Oh no, there's a time limit! Oh god! Dead! Ha 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 ha! Does it really need a time limit? Oh god, it makes you do it all again. No! Bloody hell. To jump right, you have to be... You ha what? time also i think my jump key is clashing with uh a keyboard control as well yeah yeah it was that's my bad i died there because i was jumping i was using z as my fire button but it's also Z is also move left in this game. Ah. Cool. I mean, it's a nice little platformer. I quite like this for for what for a manic miner type game. Oh, was you there? You're stuck. For a, for a manic miner type game, it's actually quite good for what it is. Um, they're all very similar. You know, pixel perfect jumps at times needed. Incredibly hard, lots of um, harsh timings to work out. Make a mistake and there might be certain death. Um, a tight time limit. Um, so, Zypho, there you go, high school table. Oh, music, hang on. Hmm. Let's have a look on CPC Power. Uh, I might give this more credit if it's a budget release as well. This is from Melbourne House in 1985, so early days of the Amstrad. I 
would have thought this was probably like a mid price game. What do you reckon around about the eight, seven, eight pound mark? Actually, this is 1984. <laughs> it says here, uh, 24 different screens, 10 types of aliens, moving stairways, suitable for all ages, completion time, several weeks. 100% <laughs> machine language, there you go. And there's the ending screen. But there you go, yeah. Um, I pres oh, hang on, was there, was there any adverts for this? Let's have a look. Uh, nope. Just wondering how much this would have cost. Uh, I presume you'd be doing like a mid to full price game. So, hmm, not sure on this one. Is this a hidden gem or not? Let's create a let's create a poll. All right, is Sir La Lancelot a hidden gem? You put exclamation mark gem in the chat. I see some people already are doing exclamation mark no if you want to vote there as well. Yes. No. Uh, from section create poll. Um, I quite. Do you know what? I'm not always a big fan of manic miner type games, guys. But that one, control wise, it felt really good to control. Um, it was smooth, responsive. I quite, I like the charm of it as well. I want to go yes. Right, so let's, po oh, hang on. let's post the link in the chat. There you go, if you want to vote there. Oh, thank you, Sean, for finding out. Apparently it was £6.95 in 84. So, I'd say mid-priced. Um, Super C Power doesn't have any... Um, uh, OJB says, I bought this on Mastertronic label, if I remember correctly. There was no box art there for... Oh, actually, did we not look at the box art? We did. There's nothing there for Mastertronic, but it may have done. It may have got re-released on Mastertronic. It was definitely on a budget compilation, though. Whatever that was. But, yeah. Um, so let's have a look. Ten votes, yes. Four votes, no. Ooh. Eleven votes now. A lot of gems in the chat there. Jerry doesn't think it's a gem. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, Lucas says, have a wee practice of Vero Fighters 2 of the weekend if you can, I'll... Jeff has just dropped a 900k run. Has he now? Bloody hell. <laughs> I don't think I'll have time, but I might give it another go, Lucas. Thanks for the heads up there. Uh, Babble says, cracking little game just needs some music. If you had music in, in game, that would have been even better. I totally agree. But it looks like most of the people are voting gem here. Oh, and Sean says, that's actually a good point. I like the fact you can select several rooms to start off on. Wasted countless hours on this back in the day. That is a damn good point. <gasps> I got all spots my music. Oh my god, that's Frischnit! Oh, what an eight pound bloody hell! That's Frischnit! Frishnit, are you here in the chat? Come and say hello, Frishnit. Oh my god, Frishnit, thank you very much. Oh my god. It's like the night of the Patreons. Frishnit, welcome back to the Am Squad, Frishnit. Let's see the bananas rain down for Frishnit there. Uh, Frishnit was one of the OGs of the Am stream. There he is. He's there in the chat. You've got the confetti and the fireworks going off for you there, matey. <laughs> Thank you, Frishnit. There you are. Oh, you've still got, you've, I left you with the um, uh, the uh, Hammer of Doom next to your name. You are here. Welcome, Frishnit. Good to see you again, man. 
If you didn't know, uh, guys and girls, Frischnit was one of the original people on the Amstream, was here week in, week out. Um, he's not been able to attend as much because of like busy times of family and work and stuff like that. But it's always lovely when Frischnit pops in. And um, yeah, uh, he recently had to um, uh, leave the Am Squad temporarily. Because unfortunately he got made redundant, but um, he got he, he found an even better job recently, and I'm so happy for you, Frishnit. And uh, he's just rejoined, so that's awesome. Welcome again, Frishnit. Welcome back to the Ams Club <laughs> and the Am Squad. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, surprise. There you are. Oh, mate, that's made me really, really happy. Good to see you tonight, man. And I, I'm gonna say then as well that Sir Lancelot is a hidden gem. Congratulations, chat. We have found another hidden gem tonight. Let me make a note of that in my in my notes here. So, right, we are now uh, taking more suggestions for hidden gems. So, if you if you've got a game that you think is a hidden gem, please now suggest it in the chat. <laughs> And, and sorry, I was just trying to Sean there. Sean made a good point. You can choose your starting level, which is a really, really nice touch, as you can see there. Merlin's Magic Teleport Chamber. It's like Roland in time. Oh, good night, FC Denhard. You take care, buddy. And I hope things look up for you soon, man. Oh, Joe! This actually came in earlier. Oh my goodness. Joe Kellyl. The five bands there. It says, here you go for later, dude. It's the KM Yam streamers. Back to normal service at the pub next week. And I can't wait. We'll try and join you in the gang here later. Here you go after. for later, oh. dude. Hey to Kate and the Yam streamers. Back to normal service in the pub next week. And Elle can't wait. <laughs> we'll try and join you in the gang later after I finish. Joe, good. Oh my goodness! Oh, blimey! Mr. Pete Walker as well with the four six four. Let's set the fireworks off there as well. Thank you, Mr. Pete Walker. Good grief! Thank you guys. Thank you very, 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 very much there. Let the bananas rain down for Joe and rain down for uh, Mr. Le Pete, the legend Walker. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's very, very kind of you. And thank you again, Freshnit. Good grief. What a crazy couple of minutes there. <laughs> uh, Henry. Good night, Henry. Bonsoir. And uh, good night. And. Um, have a great uh, weekend, Henry. Lovely to see you again, my friend. And uh, thanks for your suggestions there and help as well. Thank you, Henry. Take care and good night, dude. Um, so let's have a look. Well, I did. I was just asking there if, if people could suggest a hidden gem. Um, oh yeah, OJB's of Star Dodger. Star Dodger. Okay, OJBs, thank you. Jerry BDM with Bomb Jack. Bomb Jack is too well known, Jerry. Look for hidden games. Retro on limb. With the 79 P through the super chat. Thank you, Retro on limb. Thank you very, 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 very much, mate. Let's see the bananas rain down for Steve there. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, Z Prowl with the five New Zealand dollars there. Let's give you an extra sugar there and some fireworks. So that excitement makes me smile. <laughs> Thank you, Z Prowl. Bananas and rustlers in the chat because we uh, we know retro name likes the rustlers. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. It's extremely kind of you guys. It's going a bit nuts at the moment. Thank you. Thank you all. 
And he's bloody knackered, Frishnet. Frishnet, you haven't seen my t-shirt, have you? Hang on. Let me show this off again. I know it's backwards in the cut in there. It says Alan Sugar. You like my t-shirt, Frishnet? <laughs> there we go. Bloody hell! I only joke that OJB! Oh my goodness, with the 128, the 128k there. Bananas in the chat there for OJPs. The bananas just, oh my goodness. Bloody hell, oh my god, Lucas as well. <laughs> what is going on? Lucas says, not give dono for ages. Get yourself a pint next week. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lucas. Thank you very, very, very much, Lucas. And OJB, thank you. Lucas, you rock. Let the bananas rain down one more time. For Lucas and OJB's there. Thank you, guys. Bloody hell. <laughs> nah, no crying tonight. No cry, foe. <laughs> Poor Lord Sugar is knackered now from dancing. So... And we were taking suggestions for uh, hidden gems. So, yeah, Jerry, uh, Bomb Jack is too well known. We're looking for undiscovered, like, forgotten about, unheard of games that are gems. Um, but good evening, Mr. Pete Walker again, mate. How have you been keeping? How's your... Oh! <laughs> Chiefy! With the 128 as well. <coughs> Through the super ch <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice there. <coughs> Sheafy 89. Let the bananas rain down one more time. The Sheafy. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Bananas one more time there. Oh, my goodness. Sheafy, you rock, dude. Thank you, guys. Right. And good evening, Sheafy, as well. Yeah, sure, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got Star Dodger. Uh, room 18 from Neil. Uh, but he's coming back later th later tonight. Um, oh, yeah, we're arguing over Croco Magneto. But if you've posted any of the suggestions, could you repost them? Because there's now too much chat and bananas to get through. <laughs> uh, so if you've got, another, if you've got uh, suggestions for a hidden gem, post them now. Um, oh my god, I've just seen another one come in, but it's, it's a little bit delayed. I don't I need to blow my nose as well. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Tall ball. With the two pounds through the super chat. Keep it flowing. <laughs> TP. Thank you, TP. That's very, very, very kind of you. Bananas, one more time. <laughs> Excuse me. In the chat there. Um. Oh, right. We've got some suggestions coming in there. TP, thank you again, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, Sword of the Samurai. Yeah, I don't know that one. I, I I vaguely remember that. That could, all right. We'll have a look at that. Electro Freddy. I think that mm, Brian. Good evening, Mr. Brian O'Higgins. I think it may well be quite well. I I thought it was quite well known that one. Fire Lord from Frish. <laughs> With a 128 as well. Oh, blimey. Bananas in the chat. One more time there. Simmy, thank you, mate. Bosh. Thank you, Simmy. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Much appreciated. Oh, my God. This is nuts. 
Uh, sort of the same. Oh, is that the Shinobi clone? Oh, we're definitely doing that. Well done, Retrolin, for remembering that. Because I've been trying to remember that one for ages. So I wanted to do a long play of that. Um, where did I get to? Sorry. Uh, I think Druid is well known. I think Fire Lord is as well. I think they're relatively well known. Uh, if people think Fire Lord and Druid are not hidden, please let me know in the chat. We will have a discussion about it. Um, spaced out. I'm. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to add that to the list. Herbert's Dummy Run. I've heard of it, but don't know much of it. I'm going to add that to the list. Geza says Explorer. Is that that one from Activision or Electric Dreams? But, uh, Joe, it's lovely to see you again, Joe Gilil. I hope you've been keeping well, mate. And you're back to work again soon with the pubs opening. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to pop in your pub one day, mate, and, and get a pipe from you. Yes, it was it you, Batman77, uh, with uh, Sword of the Samurai a few months ago. Yeah, and then we forgot all about it. I think City Slicker was quite well known, Retro and Lim. Geza is the master of the Activision. We could perhaps have a look at Explorer, but I don't think it was very good, Geza. Um... It was a lot of boring, from what I remember, it was a lot of boring wandering around for hours and hours. If you do want me to have a look, I can do. But um, OJBs has been desperate for Star Dodger. And I don't, I, I don't have it in my list of games. So I'm going to have to download it. Oh! Lord Respergu! <laughs> With the five pounds there, says hello Lord Zypho. Lots of lots of hidden gems today. Yes, we've got a few. We've got a few. Uh, what do we have? Brainstorm no, sorry, uh oh, Captain Trueno, Le, uh, Le Secret to Tomba, and Sir Lancelot. So there you go, three gems so far. But Lord Rasburgu, can we have bananas one more time? Let the bananas rain down for Lord Rasburgu. There you go. Cop out. Yes, that's a good suggestion. Uh, oh, El Cid. Not heard of that one. Rings a bell. Crazy shot uh, from Robin there. Hmm. She has an Activision hat and keychain. Awesome, man. I'd love to see pictures of that. Cop out. Wasn't that one of Raph Keko's earliest games? Or am I thinking of someone else? Anyway, I don't know. Thank you again, Lord Raspergu. I hope you're keeping well, Raspergu. Anyway, we better get into another game. People are going to get fed up. All right, we were looking for Star Dodger. Is this um, uh, OJBs? Was this a typing game? I don't mind looking at them. But it says it's from Amstrad Computer User Magazine. And there was Star Dodger 2 as well. Uh, Jerry, Rick Dangerous is too well known. We're looking, Jerry, we're looking for hidden games. Undiscovered or forgotten about games. But it's a good, it's a damn good game, um, Jerry. Absolutely. Hey, Andrea Wyatt. Good evening, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? We were, we were having a look at the book earlier. I've just got my copy. Uh, Joey Inex. Oh! <laughs> Z Prowl! Oh my god, we have another five New Zealand Dodger, uh, dollars through the chat there. Oh, there was a message there. Stop saying bananas one more time. You know it will happen again. <laughs> oh, bananas again in the chat. Thank you, Z Prowl, again 
for another five dollars there thank you very 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 much mate thank you thank you thank you oh my goodness um uh so ojb's is, is this the one yes type in three now all right well, we wouldn't normally do type-ins here but i'll i will get that up for you i, I found it uh let me just get rid of the browser capture oh my god sorry lots to catch up with star dodger is the sequel to budgie smuggler <laughs> Um, and Andrew's only just popping in for a little bit because he's having an early night tonight. No worries, Andrea. Um, impossible. Hey, uh, DW Apps UK. Welcome to the stream. Impossible. I remember spending a lot of time on this. Can't remember if it was good or not. Do we think Impossible is a hidden game? Ish. I, I will put it in the maybe pile I've got going on as well. But welcome to the stream, DW Apps. Hope you have a nice time here tonight. Um, right, we better get a game going. Because <laughs> uh, we've been bloody ages. Oh, you do, you do have a picture of the Activision keychain. Oh, let's have a look at this. Your picture is very green. Oh, there it is. Can everyone see that? Uh, uh, so, um, Chiefy owns an Activision key, key, key chain there. There you go. There it is. <laughs> very nice, Steve. Very nice. Right, let's get Star Dodger up then. The Z Prowl. It's a typing game from Amstrad Computer User. Avoid the killer asterisk. Asterisks. Why has he spelled that wrong there? And seek the wondrous next screen gap. Use shift to climb. Press any key to continue. Stand by for screen two. Actually, this is quite a cool little typing game. Does anybody uh, not know what a typing game is? And we'll, we'll explain it in the chat. <laughs> This is actually... Ah, oh, you goofed. <laughs> All right, one more go on that. That's like, this is actually quite good. So you've only got one key, which is shift. Shift to go up, otherwise the line will go down. Oh, Anthony Doyle, welcome to the stream. I'm really sorry that um, your first message here tonight got uh, slapped by the night bot because, um, the, yes, because the swear there. But yes, we have done a, um, there was a game called that. We have done a full, lo a live long play of how to be a complete B word uh, on the uh, Amstream a couple, a few years ago now. Um, I don't think it's a hidden game. Nor do I think it's a gem because it's quite broken, unfortunately. Uh, impossible and pretty much impossible to finish unless you are extremely lucky with a spawn or something. Um, or you cheat. But um, welcome to the stream, though, uh, Anthony. So, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it's basically, it's kind of like an, a, an early flappy bird. Pretty much is you could you, you could probably see a mobile app like this. There you go. Can we get past screen four? I think we can. Screen five. Oh, there's more asterisks. Screen six. Ah, oh, right. There you go. We'll just do a quick vote on this one. Is Star Dodger a hidden gem? or not exclamation mark gem if you think it's a gem exclamation mark no if you think it's not um uh, i've got a ojb's this is one of the best typing games uh i've played actually it's really good fun but i don't think it's a hidden gem so i'm, I'm gonna have to vote no for me but this is a great typing game hey german moshing out the stream no worries german you take care man and good night, my friend. Have a great weekend. So, um, yeah, I think most people are voting no. And uh, OJ, I'm sure you understand why. 
because it's not a proper commercial game. There's not much to it. It'd last you a few minutes, but for a typing, definitely a hidden gem for a typing. So if we were vote, if we were doing uh, hidden gems of typings, that would definitely get a hidden gem status. But like, but what we're looking at tonight, no. But uh, good suggestion, OJBs, and I, I'm glad I've come across that. Right, so uh, let me put that type in, not a gem in my list. Right, next one is Sword of the Samurai. I'm really looking forward to playing this one. This is from released in 1992 on budget. And I believe um, this should be a um, Shinobi clone. From, uh, Zeppelin Games. Uh, very basic title screen here. Let me just have a swig of my drink. Oh. Um, oh, I've just seen something come in. Just waiting for the alert to pop in. Hang on. There we go. Z Prowl with another. Five New Zealand dollars. A third dono. Thank you, Z Prowl. Thank you. Now the bananas rain down for Z Prowl there. And Z Prowl asks Have you done a typing stream before? Or aren't there any decent ones? I haven't done a typing stream um, before, no. Um, I would like to. But I need some way of getting a big collection of typing games on a disc or several discs. So I don't know if like Nish, do you have any like uh, um, has anyone made a compilation? Uh, does anybody know if there's a, a compilation of um, typing games? If there is, and I didn't have to spend weeks and months researching and trying to find them and then see if there's someone has made a disc of them somewhere, then yeah, I would do a stream of it. I would do a stream. Saying there's no music here. All right, you're back after the night bot kicks you, Anthony. Yes, if you got old music set in the house, see if you can fake me hear the music. You might not do the. Uh, it, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but um, yes. Um. All right. Okay. Okay. Wasn't that Death Kicker typing? No, it wasn't, uh, Maud. It was a legit full price release. But yeah, it's a good shout for a stream, as Nishnit says, but we'll need a fair bit of work. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Do you remember typing a game called The Key Factor? Uh, I remember, I think that rings a bell, me. I think I remember seeing it, but um, uh, no, I don't think I ever typed it in myself, but. Um, Maybe that would be, uh, <laughs> maybe that could be one to have a look at the typing stream, the typing stream then one day. Oh my god, am I ever going to get to a game? <laughs> Lil Ryu, thank you for the five pounds there. Holy crap! You're uh, great. Oh no, you're great, dude. You're great. Let the why is my music stop there? Let the bananas rain down again for Lil Ryu there. Thank you, dude. Thank you. No, you're great. You're great. Thank you, man. Whoa. Thank you, everyone. You've been uh, amazingly generous tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Death Kick was a crap in. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have a look at Sword of the Samurai, Z, uh, Z Prowl, and R Little Ryu. Thank you again, guys. Thank you very much. I'm very, very hum humbled. Uh, why is this not starting? Oh, I know why. I know why. Hang on. Change them. Sadly, no music in game, but look at this. It's a budget Shinobi. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I was trying to duck down there. I ended up jumping down. Unfortunate. Well, how do we kill these guys? Hang on. Oh! Collision detection there. He already used his sword and killed me, so... Oh, <laughs> Wrecked. I would have loved this if I bought this on budget with my pocket money. What? I was ducked then! Let me try that again, so... To be honest, the sprite looks better than the official Shinobi sprite. Oh, he gets his big sword out there. Nice. What is the point of the duck? Oh, lost the stream there. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, yeah, we had some... Oh, gosh. We had some drop frames. Are we back yet? Uh, test, 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 test. Uh, we're back. Oh, we got... Right, okay. Did it stutter there, guys? Okay, I can see it working my end, um, my browser. Okay, okay, only a few secs. Right, he just buffered then. Mm. Uh, I... Oh, oh. Captain Understatement uh, donated one pound ten as your about average, actually. Okay, thank you, uh, Captain uh, Understatement. Uh, thank you very, very much for the one pound ten there. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, what? Oh my god, I think I just broke my headphones. <laughs> um P Um P I, I can't accept that mate. Oh, mate, no, 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 you can't, no, uh, Pete. Oh. Oh, my God, Pete, uh, I, I, I can't, I can't, mate, I, I've got to, I, I'll re, I, I've got to refund you, mate. That is way, uh, that's extreme, sorry. That's extremely generous of you, mate. Extremely, extremely, extremely generous, Pete. I can't, I can't accept that, Pete. You refund me, you get it back. <laughs> oh, Pete, I honestly... I, I, I don't deserve that. I don't. I really, really don't, mate. And you need you need that. You need that for yourself to treat yourself, mate. Let me just turn those off a second. Uh. <sighs> Divest the name his next child after you. Ha! <laughs> Retro limb.
Um. Oh my God, Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete. Um. You are a legend, as Joe says. I uh, thank you, uh, uh, Pete. I'm all, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Absolutely. I I I don't know what to say or do. I really don't. I. I, I can't, honestly, I can't accept that, mate. I, I, that's, that's too much. Thank. I'm just gonna say thank you for now, and because um, obviously people are here for a live stream and to play games and chat and uh, and stuff. I I won't dribble on about it for too long. Um, I will I I will speak to P um separately. Um. And make sure um, all is good, and we'll uh, make sure on that. Pete, one last time, I'm going to give you all the dancing sugars. You have the bananas, you have the confetti, and Lord Rasperger as well. Thank you, Lord Rasperger. Thank you, Retro Lim, as well, for a few minutes ago. Lord Raspergo, thank you. Bananas in the chat one last time. Um, bloody hell, right, that's it. That's enough crap on the stream. Um, I'm going to work on a new um, thank you thing for when people donate, by the way, guys. I've got something new in the works. So we might have a change from dancing sugars and bananas. But um, holy crap, Pete. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, guys, um, I want to take a quick break just for a minute or two to give my eyes a rest from the screen. Um, yeah, P, you get the next game request at least. P, I, I will do a whole freaking stream of whatever you want, P. <laughs> um, guys, I'm just going to take a break just for two minutes and I'll, I'll be back with you because uh, I... I it is. I just. It's. It's too much. Like I, I'm just overwhelmed. If you know what I mean. Thank you, Raspergo, again. And P, I love you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. Don't ever feel like you have to buy your uh, uh, your way in. So you're already loved and respected within the community, P. If I, you know, I just don't want you thinking that you need to do that. For, but we can have a Pete Walker special stream. P, thank you, mate. Guys, I'm just going to take a break just for two minutes and get some fresh air and also give my eyes a rest for, uh, for ocular migraines. I will be back with you in like two or three minutes, guys, okay? Thank you very, very much, and I'll be right back with you.
Hey guys, thank you for sticking with us there. I uh, just needed a little break there. Um, oh man. Okay, let me just catch up the chat there. Um, thank you again, uh, Pete. Um, thank you very, very much, mate. Um, I will, I will message you uh, probably tomorrow, Pete. Okay, and you know, and, and like everyone else who is watching as well, will make sure it's all good. I will do the right thing. Okay, and that's the last. I'll, I'll talk. That's the last I'll say now about it. But Pete, when we do the big special am stream next Friday, providing no disasters strike and I can't do it. Um, I would like you to be the first guest on the stream because on the special am stream which is coming up very very soon guys um, I would like each of you to be as a little special guest. Not everyone will get on there um, You need discord a webcam and a mic You're only gonna say a few little words Okay um, But it's gonna be a really, really fun and really very simple thing to do right, but I want to get you guys involved Pete, you can be the first person uh, on that. No need to be nervous about it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what you're going to talk about and what you're going to say. You'll only be on it for like 20 seconds to a minute tops. But I'd like to. Uh, so you guys could get involved on uh, on a very very special am stream coming up, hopefully next Friday. Okay. And if it if we, if we are going ahead with it, expect to see some teasers throughout the week next week. Okay, guys. Um. So, uh, yeah, oh, Celtic Warrior Wanderer, welcome to the stream. Thank you, I did need that break there. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> um, I, I'm just a bit overwhelmed, and I need, uh, I need to rest my eyes as well. Kev Howe, good evening as well, Kev Howe. And Mr. Neil Simpson as well, welcome, my friends, welcome. Um... <laughs> Zypher's off to buy a GX4000. Um, uh, Zypher does this for the love of gaming, not the money. So it's great to see him get something like that for Pete Walker. If he doesn't break the bank, then good on you, mate. Seriously. I, you know, I, I started this because it's a hobby and I love it. And I love the community. I love spending time with you guys. Um, I don't get to go out anymore. I didn't really before uh, lockdown because, you know, family and kids and babysitters and all that. A lot of my our best friends don't go out anymore anyway, so my Friday nights partying is with you guys. Uh, that's what I love. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, and even when I'm quite a bit poorly at the moment and things are not great uh, health-wise, I'm still here and I want to be here and I love it. Um, so, yeah, anything that comes in as a bonus, it obviously does mean uh, it does help us out a lot. Uh, because I used to do a second, I think I've said this before, I know I'm waffling on a bit and we want to get, we've got to get some gaming, but um, I used to do like a, a second job because uh, the full time job didn't really, doesn't really cover all the ex uh, all the expenses. It does, but it leaves us like nothing like uh, for the rest of the month. So I, I was doing a second job like uh, doing like DJing and gigging and all that kind of stuff on Friday nights and Saturday nights for many, many years. Um, and I gave up that to do when the Amstream really started taking off. And so I stopped all doing that. So I did lose a big chunk of income uh, to do like things like the Amstreams and other live streams. But um, when, yeah, but anything that comes in helps balance that out and justifies to the family that I'm doing these silly gaming live streams. And, you know, Mrs. Zypho is all on board of it, of course, and uh, other members of the family understand, and the kids do as well. So that's roughly my situation, you know, just so you know. But uh, thank you, guys. Um, uh, oh, OJBs, uh, good night, OJBs. Thank you as well. Um, I'm sorry I've not I've done much gaming for the last 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> Um, uh, I'd wish to all for, I wish. OJBs, have a great weekend, my friend. Uh, CPC Game Review's off as well, sorry. Uh, hey, good night, CPC Game Review's Nish. Have a great weekend, dude, as well. Take care, man. Um, 
I love you too, Joe. I love you too. Sorry. Um, yeah. Pretty much broke me there. Yes, as well. Yeah. Ah, Jogstrad. Good evening, mate. Good evening. How you doing, man? Hope all is good, dude. Right, okay. Let's get on with this bloody game. People have been here for gaming and I'm waffling on. I'm so sorry. Again, sorry for anyone uh, watching on Catch Up. Um... I really hate that you can't duck that. That sucks ass. Um, yeah, sorry for anyone watching on catch up. I'll add timestamps on the video so people can skip through the next tomorrow. So we can just avoid a lot of these enemies, can't we? Oh god, I keep ducking thinking I can. Ah! Game over. Alright, we'll start again. It's a shame that the presentation is very, very minimal. Uh, there's hardly any sound effects. There's no music, but the graphics are quite nice. Uh, the animation's pretty good. There's a guy that shoots you, so we'll just we'll just avoid him. Oh, has that powered up my main weapon? I think it might have. Yeah, that kills them in one hit now. They they took two hits before. What, one more little kid to rescue. But this plays really nicely. It's fast, it's smooth. Frame rate, not the greatest in the world, but... Oh, look at that. You can't kill him uh, by hitting his head. Okay, that's interesting. But it's lovely and colourful. And it plays really nicely. I like that you can use the sword close up. This looks like a later level in Shinobi. This is one of like, the last levels, it looks like. With those logs like that. Playing for score here, we're just trying to get us through the game as much as we can. It's a little bit garish on the eyes here, but alright. Hey, is Anna here? Let me just pause that there real quickly. Uh, good evening, Anna. Anna, the bananas and Phil. How are you doing, Anna? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, oh, I love you too, Brian. I love you too, mate. You're a lovely, lovely broke, mate. Um, uh, Chiefy, thank you, man. It says, all the live streams by you and others are so appreciated during lockdown. And so on, sure, also by me. Oh, thank you, matey. Thank you. And um, they definitely were important. Yeah, not just mine, but everyone else's. But, yeah. Um, I of the week. Oh, thank you, Kev Hal. That's very kind of you, dude. Cheers. And our live stream is only complete if Anna joins in too. I, I totally agree, Chiefy. Uh, Pyrodas says, Poundland Shinobi. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's doing it a disservice a bit. It's actually a pretty good game in its own right here. Oh, my goodness. Jogstrad's on the Vodka and Red Bull. So he's in for the long haul tonight. Bloody hell. <laughs> a game written for the green screen. Well, we can see that. If you want fresh it, let's have a look. Oh! No, I think it's better in colour. Ah, fire before jumping. Oh my goodness! Oh, Neil! Neil Simpson with the two pounds! Through the super chat! Thank you, Neil. It says, Pete, lend me a tenner. <laughs> Bananas in the chat! 
for Mr. Neil Simpson there. Let the bananas rain down again. <laughs> thank you, Neil. Thank you. Um, I could have lent you that from uh, what Pete's given me. <laughs> He's got it the wrong way. You got that completely mixed up there. Oh! Bloody hell, Jockstrad! We'll set the fireworks off now. It says, don't I have two, Hunter, but I'll give you a kitten. You'll give me a kitten? Is that some... Is that a Scottish slang phrase? I, I don't get. Bananas in the chat for Jockstrad! <laughs> Mr. Chris McGilvray, an absolute legend. Thank you, Chris, as well. Thank you, matey. Good Lord. Right. I'm going to keep the, the, the celebrations quite short because, because of how many has happened. And, uh... Oh, oh, oh. But, uh, thank you. Um, thank you again, Chris. And thank you again, Neil. That's awesome of you. Oh, baby's here. The special weapon still doesn't go through these guys' armor. But well, okay. Oh. Got him. I've only got 20 something seconds left. Ah, the cave entrance, just like in Shinobi. Sword of the Samurai. Uh, what's this level? This is level three. I'm taking a quick snappy there. What about a green Amstream Knight? We could do. We could do. Although a uh, Bug might get a little bit upset at me because he does. Um, it's not easy being green, is it? Uh, is, that, is that what he calls it on his YouTube? So uh, we could do. We could do. Anna, how's things, Anna? Uh, if I missed what you said there. Uh, so the last of the kittens goes tomorrow. We shame because we have a wee darling. Oh, you've had kittens, have you, Jockstrad? Oh, I see. Oh, right. Oh, man. Mrs. Zypher would love another kitty in the house. But we've got two kitties, and that's enough. Two cats maximum, I think, is enough for a household. Otherwise, they start getting stressed out. Bless them. Oh, how, how was I to know that was a death gap there or death gap? Yeah, that makes sense actually. Go on, jump up there, firing up at the same time to get up to those places. So good. A little bit laggy shooting then. Oh! Son of a bitch! And you go back to the start of the level. Yikes. Not bad, but I've got a... Uh, but got a bad eye. Oh, oh no! Oh! What's wrong with the eye, Anna? Have you got an eye infection or something? Uh, if the greed is easier on the eyes, try it. Let's try it here, actually, on this level. What does this look like? How's this in green screen, guys? I don't know, actually. It might actually, it, it might actually be a bit kinder on the old eyes, actually. <laughs> yeah, and I got Tortazzo there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take it off green screen. Uh, it's not making much of a difference to me, actually. A little bit, a little bit. Right, how do I defeat this guy?
Like that, okay. Right, okay, just spam the fire button there. Ah, oh, it's game over. All right, I've got a, I've got a reload here. We'll do. Uh, we'll have one more go here. I actually quite like this. We're gonna vote him very shortly on this one anyway. The jump back. So when you when you've got a jump and you don't know where you're exactly you're gonna land or what's gonna be there, jump and then jump back again the first time just to be sure. That's that's a top tip. This is a cool little game. I would have loved this on budget. <gasps> oh, he got me there. Do you know what? We ought to move on. We've been playing that for too long and messing about with um, donos and stuff earlier. So. Um, Let's um, vote on Sword of the Samurai. Then I'm going to create a poll. Um, Sword of the Samurai. So is Sword of the Samurai a hidden gem or not? Exclamation mark gem in the chat if you think it is. Exclamation mark no if you don't. Um... Uh, and I'll create a poll and we'll get it going in the chat. Right, here you go. Here's the link to the poll. And I'm going to vote it a hidden gem. I reckon this is a gem. Oh, I'm seeing bananas. There's something. Oh, God, there's something happened. Oh, God. There's the vote. There's the. Aaron Phillips! <laughs> Oh my goodness! With the two pounds through the super chat there, he says crap scrolling. Fifth axis is tons better. It's true. <laughs> All right, I'll give you fifth axis is a better game, but I don't think it's a gem. I think most people know about fifth axis. But um, Aaron's favourite game of all time on the Amstrad is Fifth Axis. Uh, Fifth Axis was definitely extremely popular in uh, France. But exclamation mark bananas in the chat there for Aaron. <laughs> Let the bananas rain down. So yeah, the votes are coming in. Aaron, thank you again, mate, for the two quid, mate. That'll buy me a nice budget game like Sword of the Samurai. <laughs> so at the moment, 16 votes. Hidden gem, one vote, no. Uh, and I see lots of gems in the chat as well there. I think I'll be doing a lot of long playing review of this. <laughs> we'll buy a PS5. Well, I might buy the arcade one-up cab, but they're all sold out everywhere. Thank you, Aaron. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I declare Sword of the Samurai a hidden gem. Hurrah! We have found another hidden gem tonight. So, I'm marking that as a gem. My notes there. Brilliant. Top stuff, guys. Top stuff. I love this because we're finding all these great games. I had never heard of this one before. Actually, let's have a look at the box art quickly. Sword of the Samurai. Uh, we'll get a browser capture. 1992 from Zeppelin Games. So I bet this went under the radar for a lot of people. Quite nice box art there. Well, there you go. Oh, it's an ending screen. Just goes you are a real hero okay <laughs> okay but there you go sort of the same right right the next game tonight someone requested was a game called spaced out well we'll actually i'll get it open here spaced out from firebird hmm. what is this one made by john gibson he worked for ocean for a while 
Hmm, I'm not sure. Like the box, the box art there is rather interesting. But anyway, let's load up Spaced Out. I forgot who requested this one. Um, let's see what this is like then. Is this a disc game? No, it's cassette. Um. Okay, select size of plane area. Damn, my nose is really itchy this evening. I don't know why. Um, too many polygons for me at PS5. Oh. Do you know what? I'm not bothered uh, about a PS5 at all in the slightest. Uh, but Barry says, hey, Barry. Seems to be a nice Shinobi clone. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Brian Hooper. Good, good night, dude. Lovely to have you here, mate. And uh, see ya. See you soon and have a great weekend, dude. Okay, P. Thank you again, P. P. I, I will. I will message you tomorrow anyway, just to, what, for whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely thing you did, P. It's a lovely thing you did. Let's not take that away. Yeah. Um. Frishnet. Thank you, man. It was lovely to have you back on the Am streams again, my friend. Thank you for rejoining the um, the Am squad. <laughs> and uh, if you want to chat to us, uh, Frishnet, I don't know if you've got Discord, but if you download and install it on your computer or you uh, get the app for your phone, loads of us chat uh, throughout the week. In Discord, it's good fun in there. There's a link to my Discord in the chat there. Be lovely to keep in touch like that as well, mate. Oh, up to you there. Good night, Frish. Great to see you again, mate. Great to see you again. Right, so this is uh, spaced out. Uh, ink. Set size of plane area. I don't know. Should we go for that? I, 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 I have no idea what we do in this game. Select number of nasties. Oh, up and down. Alright. Uh, let's do that. Press fire to play. Zilch scored. Press, oh, it's press fire to throw dice. Oh, is this like is this like a, um, a board game? First move. Hang on, I I, I have no idea what's going on here. So let's have I'm gonna have a look at the manual. Uh, who suggested this one? And can they? Can they tell me a little bit about it? Oh no! There's no manual for the game! CBC Power doesn't have a manual. Uh, what's in the back of the box? They tread carefully and you may space out a computer. A game requiring stealth and strategy. Um, yeah. I don't know on this one. One sec, guys, actually. Sorry, I had to blow my nose there. Um, is that, who uh, requested this one, then? Oh, Pirate Daz, good night, dude, as well. Take care, man. Have fun sailing on the high seas, and we'll see you soon. Uh, Z Prowl says, I'm trying to remember the rules of this. You have to roll the dice to finish as close to maximum turns as possible. Um... <laughs> Anna's not, not impressed. Um... Oh, Paul, have you just come back, mate? Yes, yes, the lovely Pete Walker there. Uh, am I supposed to choose something here? Oh. I 
think I've moved up by five. You are spaced out. And I got a massive penalty. This looks like it could be good, but I have no idea what's going on. And we don't have a manual for it online. Which is unfortunate. That, that's unfortunate. I think what you... I think, I, I think... Oh, no. Oh, the screen was up. Bloody hell. Oh. I'll restart it. Sorry, guys. Uh, my head's just not with it now after all that. And uh, Pete Walker's, like, amazing stuff back then. Um, size of plane area. We'll do that. We'll We'll do that. Press fire to play. So fire to roll the dice. First move. I think I've got a four and a four. So let's go. I think you go. Four M moves you up four. And we can go right four. With M to move. Right. I think the idea is you've got to sneak your character from bottom left on the board to their top right without hitting any aliens, I think. And I have no idea what this is. Is it a cowboy boot with a cowboy hat on it in space? I, I don't know. Uh, we can move... Four, right. Oh. Why am I getting a penalty? Oh no, the aliens are coming for me. Oh my god, they surrounded me. Let's go right, three, and that's move. Okay. Up, one, move. So I, I think it's like a strategy game where you've got to get your character moved. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, dude. It says, I'll own up. I suggest it and the stream hates it. Move on. I'll, I'm trying to give a... Uh, I'm trying to... I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to give it a fair shake here, mate. I'm trying to give it a fair shake here. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Bananas in the chat. Uh, I let the bananas rain down for Z Prowl. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to give it a fair shake. Um, uh, what's this? Sorry? Check your Discord, uh, Zypher, mate. Everything okay, Craig? Oh! He's bloody how he's posted the manual there. <laughs> I was just about to move on, and then Craig, you've got us playing it now. You actually own this one. Do you know what? I actually can't read the text. It's a bit fuzzy. It's just about. Right. I think you've got to move on to squares and squish them then. Actually, from what I saw there. 
Right, I can't read that very well, but thank you, Craig. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and I haven't, I haven't done uh, bananas for uh, Z Prowl there. Thank you, mate. Uh oh, Neil got in tr trouble with the uh, night bot there. Can we have a little depressed sugar sitting in the corner of the game when we have a crap game? <laughs> Call and see when we have a crap game. Alright, <laughs> All right, let's see if I can squish an alien here. Try to roll dice. Uh, oh, yeah, two. Right. Oh, I, oh, it's not far enough to squish. Oh, five, move. You can't do that. Oh. You are spaced out. Yeah, shall we, shall we move on from this one then? I don't think it's fair to vote on this one because um, we don't really know what's going on. Uh, can we move up to? Oh, it says I can't do that. Uh, oh, we could go left to though. He's well spaced out and you've ki All right, I've killed an alien. And we'll move him all the way over here. If I get a penalty, I don't understand. Right, we'll move on from that one. So, I, I think it's fair to say it's not going to be classed as a hidden gem just yet. But, um... Oh, interesting little game, though. If you're into that sort of strategy stuff. Um... But yeah, I think I think we'll say it's not a hidden gem. Okay, right. Okay, so let's have a look at the next game then. So I, we haven't really given space that a fair shake because we don't know what's going on in it. We haven't got the manual. Craig has it. He sent me a sh screenshot. I can't really see very well. I think he's actually just pasted another updated screenshot of the Discord actually. But we'll, we will leave that for now. So, um, thank you, Craig. Appreciate that as well. Of course, mate. Of course. Uh, let's have a look at a game called Cop Out. This was recommended. Let's have a look then. Cop Out. Yeah, moving on, Junkstrad. Microgen. Oh, is this a rack? Uh, rack? Oh, no. Mr. Music there. Hang on. I'll load it up again. Sorry, I was trying to stop. I was trying to pause my music. I believe this might be a game from Raphael Kako. Yes, it's a Raphael Kako game. I think, was, I think it was like the first game he got tasked to do, actually. So Kako, of course, did Cybernoid 1 and 2, Exelon, Stormlords, Deliverance, etc. Are you getting your cop out? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Thank you again, Pete. Thank you, mate. I love you, dude. Mwah. Legends, Mr. Pete Walker. Alright, let's define the keys then. Uh, left, right, up. Oh. Down. All right, easy peasy. Cool. Up, down. Let's have a go then. Oh, it's like a target shooting game. Oh, oh got hit by a bottle. Okay. Apart from the specky graphics, or mode one graphics. This ain't, this ain't bad. Uh, I'm stuck at the corner though. Is 
God damn it. I, I don't think I've hit anyone. So it's, it's a bit like Cabal as well. But is this out before Cabal came out in the arcade? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I finally hit someone. Damn it, and I got hit again there. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Yet to shoot down a plane. Oh, that bottle hit me. Oh, we got a score. Oh, you got to reach a target score. Okay, okay. Oh, Pete, uh, take care, Mr. Pete Walker, the legend, mate. Thank you, mate. Mwah. You take care, man. You have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. But take care, man. Take care. And I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you very, very soon, mate. Night, night, mate. Uh, Main Haze likes to look at this one. A bit like Cabal, but better. You're right. better than, well, it's better than the official Cabal uh, conversion on the Amstrad. But I don't know if it'd be better than the uh, arcade, but... Bloody hell. I've only got one cock left. Oh, that shot in the face. Sometimes a bit of delay of firing. It's like, I don't know if it's like, like the gun reloading or something. Go, 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 go. I need to concentrate more here. Dive leaves the end of the stream to Pete into bed. <laughs> well, I'll get a bit more than that, I think he would. <laughs> Alright, I'll give this one more go. I was, I was a bit crap on it. Hey! I hit... There you go. I've got the plane and the birds there. Keep losing life stupidly. What? That didn't hit any of them? Got the bird. Oh, poor birdie. Why does a cop get points for shooting birds anyway? They don't stay up long to hit. I get stuck in this corner. Uh, all right, I reached the score target. Hey, takes a bullet for the AMS stream. I do. <laughs> um, did a bird explode? I think it did, Anna. Uh, Baba says I like this, but it was a full price release. Feels like a budget game. Was this really a full price release? It does. Oh man, it does feel like a budget game. Oh no, I got shot again. Right. Oh 
for God's sake. There are like some inescapable situations in this game. Alright, what do I do there? Got sandwiched. Oh god, and they respawn? I think we've got to hit them with headshots here as well. Okay. Oh, and it respawns them. Right, okay. Just leave, leave one of them alive. That one that's popping up out the cave there. No, 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 is that where you control a pigeon pooping on people? I've got a vague memory of that. Every now and again your gun doesn't fire. I think you can fire like about four bullets at a time. And then you have to wait for a bit. Oh, I missed the music there. Sorry guys. Um, so cop out. Cop out from Michael Jen. In 1986. Let's have a look at it on the CPC Power website. Um, as seen on TV, that box art isn't great there. Uh, the box art faded. That's a better, bit of a better picture. That looks like the um, uh, art for Jailbreak, the arcade game. Are they nicked it? Um, no idea how much this went for. Have a look, is it advertised? Holy crap! £8.95 on cassette and £14 on disc. Yowzers. Um, with this being a not a budget release, it was a full price one. I don't know if we should judge it more harshly for that. Hmm. What, what do we reckon, guys? Sorry. I think my, uh, this, this is a bit stretched. It's not stretched enough. There, there you go. Um, hmm. Let's set up a vote then, quickly then. Exclamation mark gem in the chat, or exclamation mark no, if you don't think so, is cop out. Uh, let me write this poll out. Cop out a hidden gem. Yes. No. I'll put the uh, link in the chat to vote there. Uh, I quite like it. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I quite like it. I'm giving this. A, I'm voting Gem. Um, link in the chat there if you want to vote. Might take a little bit of time for it to show up. Cop out. Is it? Do you reckon it's a terrible name for the game, or do you mean the title of Musa? I think generally, you think it's terrible, generally. Uh, oh, Joe! Joe Khalil says, do not have to play some places if I don't hate me, Joe. Hey, no worries. Uh, Andrew Wyatt has bought two. What's that? Sorry. Uh, catch you all next week. Good night, you beautiful fool. Joe, take care, man. Lovely to have you here again, mate. And uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy your PS5 session. And yeah, I hope you see you next week. Uh, I'm also on Twitch on the evenings as well, Joe. Just search for Zypho on Twitch and you'll find me streaming in the week as well. Um, uh, Mayman says, I don't know. Considering this was two years before Cabal, it seems kind of innovative. I could see people paying full price for this. Mayman, that's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, Cabal 
arcade game. When did that come out? 1988, uh, Cabal came out. Cop Out is 1986. And everyone thinks Cabal was the first of those. All right, you got a single street. You got a guy that runs left and right along the bottom, and there's a target. And as you move the target, go yeah, and you can move the target around the screen and stuff like that. Everyone thinks Cabal was the first to do that, but this was before that. This was a trendsetter before Cabal. I reckon this is definitely a definitely a gem for me. Uh, but it was expensive back in 1986, but there wasn't much like it, Alex. Hmm. At the time. Pop Pop says, go bow. Uh, Jimmy Taylor says, gonna call it a night. Uh, have a great weekend, everyone. Good to see you all. Take care, Zyper. Thanks for top street. As always, you're a top guy. Thank you so much. For oh, bless you, Jimmy. Uh, what a lovely message, as always. Jimmy, you're a lovely bloke, mate. Take care. All the, all the best to Janie and, uh, and have a great weekend and we'll see you again soon, man. Take care, dude. The name doesn't work. It's a daft use of a pun. Yeah, the name Cop Out works that Kevin Smith movie, that, that comedy of Bruce Willis. God, that movie was terrible. Um... Oh, uh, okay, Craig as well. Good night, Mr. Craig Harrison, the Craig's bar there. Good night, dude. Take care. And have a great weekend, mate. God, everyone's heading to bed soon, aren't they? Um, hidden gem. So, no, I don't think. Yes, did win. 53% to 47%. 8 to 7. The vote is split. And I did say if the vote was split. Um, oh, well, how many gems have we got here? 1, 2, 3... Four, five in the chat. And how many no's? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, there was a duplicate there. Five. Ooh, it's split. It's 50 50. I, w I, I did say it had to be unan uh, fairly unanimous for it to be classed as a hidden gem. And I actually believe that's a hidden gem. But not everyone can agree. So, um, sadly, Cop Out, not a gem. Hmm. The chat has spoken. The chat has spoken. So, uh, uh, oh, actually, Sean says, look up Shootout. Uh, it pred predates both Cop Out and Cabal. It's a day two game from 85. I'll have a look at it. Shootout. Data East. Oh, God. I think I've played this, Sean. Excuse me for the yawn there, guys. Oh. I have played this, actually. What a cute little arcade game. It's pretty much that. It, did, it doesn't have a crosshair. Oh, look at that. You can set the fairground right off. I remember this. I wonder what the first game to have to do this, but with a crosshair, you move around the screen like Cop Out does. But, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Shoot out for Data East. Hmm. Hey, uh, Mike ZT. Good night, dude. Take care, mate. Uh, have a great weekend, my friends. We'll see you soon. Um, what are we up to now? 53%. Uh, yeah, man, Shovel. It'd have to be a fairly unanimous one. I don't know. Since it's quite... It's, it's very, uh, very, very close. Very, very close. Mm. Oh, Mike, I'm glad we found your uh, missing arcade game there. Awesome. But yeah, it's called Shootout. Yeah, thank Sean for that. Um, that was a yawn. I tried to stifle it and it had failed. <laughs> so it came out quite weird. Um, Andrea, good night, Andrea. Take care, hon. Uh, lovely to have you here tonight. Uh, I'm surprised you stayed this long. She said you're only going to be here quick. 
Okay, the next game on the list we've got here is El Cid. El Cid, which I don't have a, um, a disc for, actually. So I'm going to have to try and look this on CPC Power. can't remember who requested this. Okay. Hmm. It looks like this is a Spanish-only game again. Oh, I don't know, actually. We have a UK version. All right, bear with me. I'm just downloading a disc at the moment. Uh, ZM getting past the capture code there. You voted no, but the yes have it. The yeses did win, but it wasn't unanimous enough, sadly. Right, okay, this game is called El Cid. E-L space C-I-D. Why is it not loading? Okay. Let's write manually. Ah, uh, well that's a problem. What's wrong with this? Uh... Oh, okay. Right, I fixed it. I don't know what I don't know what went wrong there. Oh my god, what was that? We had some noise there. In the 11th century, a scroll with an evil invocation was left on earth. It can only be banished if read by two men of pure heart. Your mission is get it and protect it from sinister hands. Press fire. Not a great, not a great start here. Oh dear. Anna says, I have this game. It's crap, lol. <laughs> oh no. Not a good start there. Definitely not. Um, I uh, Anna says I had El Cid and I had to see the doctor for it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and Kev Alfoy was a Nova Book stream there. Uh, Amstrad disc loading there. <laughs> what the hell is this? Who am I? What is going on? I think I'm at the top of the screen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you have not been lucky this time, but with a little practice next time you'll win. Do not forget to rescue the maiden first. Press fire to try again. Son of a bitch. So I'm at the top slashing again. Oh, I think I stunned him. Oh, I did something. What the hell is going on with this thing? Requested this. Uh... Oh, okay. Who requested this? And what the hell is going on in this? Why was there an eagle flap in there? Uh, 
Oh no, not more like this. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, this is worse than spaced out. I've been vindicated. <laughs> bananas in the chat. Let the bananas rain down one more time to see for help. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Um, next, don't even vote. Um, and Mansion was like, I've got to say this is a unanimous nay. I think so. Um, uh, uh, Alex Lego says, Sprite, Sprite Occlusion works well in this game. Not bad for an ice catch in 3D game, but little else works. <laughs> May Maze, I can't bring that out. <laughs> uh, Matt thinks this game sucks. Uh, Ah, uh, see why you were saying Z-Prowl earlier. This game is getting me all excited. <laughs> and Neil says, can we play a El sequel El Chapo? Oh, God. Um, yeah, for Cypher, remember what happened to Tusker's yellow screen? Yeah, yeah, I'm unware. I'll, I'll be all right. How about Robert Cop? Uh, hey, Richard Jimenez. How are you doing, man? Um... Oh, do you mean Sergeant Seymour? Uh, robot, uh, robot Cop. That's, I would say that's pretty well known now. I don't know if that's hidden enough. Sergeant, if you're on about Sergeant Seymour, I don't know if that's hidden enough. But um, Yeah, Jez, Jester, how you doing, man? Um, can you guess who did that? <laughs> but... Hmm, do we need to have a vote on this? Before we decide, let's have a look at the map. Have we, have we got a manual for this? We haven't got an English manual for this one, so that's a shame. What's the package like? <laughs> There's the box art. Oh, bless it. Oh, this got released on Mastertronic, the budget label. Uh, I think, I think there's some English instructions here. If you touch those eagles that were flapping in the street, right, uh, apparently that gives you energy back. So we're going to find the parchment and also rescue his wife. Um, there was other objects you must collect a lamp that will give you access to the devil's domain, a bag of gold which you use to buy the enchanted key. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, I think this game needs a map. Is there a map for this? Oh, someone's made a map. Oh, blimey. Okay. Uh, maybe not that big, but... Yeah, yikes. <laughs> Uh, do we want to buy on this one? I'll tell you what we'll do. You could, uh, I'll tell you what. I won't bother doing the um, straw poll. Exclamation mark gem if you think this might be a hidden gem. Exclamation mark no if you don't think so. And you could do exclamation mark poop I think as well. 
Or did we do exclamation mark poo command? I can't remember. Uh, is Johnny Boy here tonight? He was. He's gone very quiet, Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy. Ahoy, Johnny Boy. Come and say hello in the chat. He, li he likes having a few bevies, so he might have, he might be relaxing uh, with being a bit drunk at the moment. I don't know. Um, so here comes the vote. Poop, poop, poop. Nose. Anna says, Ask Candle of the Lower Order. Sounds like crap it can play to. Oh no. Whoever requested this has been, um, that didn't come forward. Don't be, listen, don't be, uh, don't be ashamed. Um, we can't all like the same stuff. And there are games that a lot of people think are crap, that certain people think are good. That's why we did that Guilty Pleasures stream, because I really enjoy playing eSwat on the Abstrad. Whereas everyone else thinks it's utter turd. You know, I love Psycho Pigs UX, UXB. Vast majority of people seem to hate it. So, um, you know, don't be worried. Don't be, don't feel bad. Whoever whoever you were who suggested El Cid. Um, hey, Mr. Brian O'Higgins. Good night, dude. You dozed off a little bit there. No worries, mate. It is getting late. Take care, man, and have a great weekend. Right. <laughs> Maybe he reckons he could, thinks he could actually like this one. See, certain, some people might like the medieval setting on this. Right, I've stunned that guy there. Oh, the eagle's just giving me energy. You, you saw my energy bar bottom left. giving me energy back there from the water fountain and the eagle has two I think just the combat is not very good at all can't go that way can't go that way Uh, I've run out of strength apparently. There's like a, there's a bar to the right there. It says Bri Brio. Uh, there's Vida and Brio. Vida is your energy and Brio is your strength for fighting. And if you run out of strength for fighting, you're in big trouble. So yeah. Anyway, there you go. That was El Cid. <laughs> that was El Crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So mostly nose and poops there. Um, yeah, see, like, Maud is in the vast mi minority of people who are, like, Double Dragon Free, where everyone else thinks it's rubbish. <laughs> Poor Maud. How you doing, Maud, anyway? But it is good to see a good... Uh, we've had a good variety of games tonight, and I, I appreciate that. Yeah, very, very good suggestion so far. Not a, not a gem. Unfortunately. Right, we've got uh, Crazy Shot was the last one suggested. Um, I've got Crazy Shoes. Is that the same one? Might be. I, I, I heard this is a light gun game though, so I don't know if I'm able to play it or not. Elskid. <laughs> Neil says, hang on. Neil says, I'd rather marry a Turkish fart rinse <laughs> than play Elsie. What the hell is a fart rinse? <laughs> Made me laugh though. Alex says, uh, Psycho Pigs is tremendously underrated. I think people hate it because of the basic graphics and all the chaotic play. I agree, Alex. I think the graphics are fun and nice in it as well. Hey, Geza. Um, thank you um, for tonight, mate. Thank you for joining the Am Squad, mate. I really, really appreciate the Patreon and stuff like that, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. I hope I don't let you down on Patreon. Let me know if there's any extra content you want to see, my friends. 
and uh, have fun on Discord and uh, catch up on all the old videos and stuff on Patreon. That's just for mem uh, patrons and members of the Amber Squad. Good night, mate. Have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Uh, Zypho, can I request Wauntlet? Not the usual one. Two games of the same name, at least. Um, yeah. Alright, then. If you think it's a hidden gem, dude. Right, let's skip through that, then. Nice music there. I'm not sure I woke up Johnny Boy there, unfortunately, Jez. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, we were choosing which one to go to. Oh, we've got a moving cross there, so th this looks like it might be playable. Oops. Crosshair goes uh, mental off the screen. Oh. Ass. Okay. Seems simple enough, this one. There was numbers on here. Oh! Were we meant to shoot these in order? Oops. Oops. Um, bit of a recall there. Uh, so what? Are we supposed to shoot these in order? I don't. I don't know. There's American flag there. Checkerboard pattern thingy. I don't know if there's supposed to be some order. Right. Okay. I just want to actually, I want to move on actually and see what the other levels look like. I'm sure there's some very nice graphics later on in this because I have, I have seen this before. But I think this is, this was a game designed for a, a light gun released in uh, France. Uh, that didn't make it over to the UK. We had the Magnum. Which is a bit crap. I don't know if the French light gun, whatever the name it was, was uh, any better. Let's put some music on. There we go. Oh! Well, those of them must have all popped up again. Recoil though. Oh god, this is getting a bit boring. Can I? Can I? Can I? A bit escape. All right. Okay. Uh, what's this one? This is a level. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that a jungle level? Yeah. The, the carnival sim. Oh. Uh. 
challenge 150. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's still like a carnival like type game. Oh, it's like, is that don't shoot? Oh, that was the animals I'm not supposed to shoot. If you look bottom middle, it's don't shoot. I, th I think that means don't shoot the giraffe. But all the other animals are fair game. Don't shoot the crocodile. I see. But does uh, anything else different happen though? That's the only thing. It seems a bit uh, samey. There's a cheeky monkey there. Oh, 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 okay. Things are things are changing up here. Don't shoot the lion. Oh no! I shot the dodo or whatever the fuck that was. I think it was a vulture. Don't shoot the vulture. I think you've got. Uh, don't shoot the snake now. Am I against. Oh! Uh, vulture now. Right, okay. Am I against a time limit? Is there a time ticking down on that bar bottom left? I don't think so. Yeah, it's all right. This it's just it's getting a bit. Oh, it's a cheeky, cheeky monkey. I think it wasn't fast enough. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, don't shoot the skull and crossbones. It resets them. Somehow. Okay, Anna. Um, definitely hidden to a lot of us this game. Um, the jungle adventure there, okay. Um, is there any other better levels? Let's have a look actually, hang on. I'm gonna have a look on a CPC Power website. I'm sure there's like a shootout in a saloon or something like that. That would be actually quite fun to play. I'm sure I've seen that before. Or it might have been a different light gun game. Uh, there's that level. We've seen that one. It's the jungle one. And there's one shooting balloons. Uh. Apparently there's six different modes. Uh, six different levels. And there's the box art for it. Hmm. Oh, apparently um, there's a UK disc version of it as well. So there is a UK one. There's English language on the back of the box. Interesting. This is from 1989. And there's a there is a, a UK dump of it. Okay. Uh, let's look at the manual here. Okay. Right. I don't know if we will. Um, mm, so crazy shot. Good suggestion, this one. Let me just turn off. Oh, hang on, no. Let's create another poll then. Um, is crazy shot a hidden gem? Let's see. A uh, hidden gem. Yes. Hidden gem? No. We'll do. All right, create poll. Um. 
it's well done for what it is, but it, need, it needs more variety. The graphics are nice, plays all right, but I don't think it's a real gem. So I'm going to vote no on that. And I'll put the, the poll in the chat there. If anybody wants to vote. I can see some uh, votes in the chat anyway, just generally from the emojis there. Um, nicely done, but a bit limited and a bit samey. There you go, two people next to each other, pretty much saying the same thing. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Maybe says when he said Loon, the first thing that came to mind was Virgin Atlantic Challenge. Spent uh, hours on that one, even though I don't remember ever thinking it was very good. Uh, I don't think I ever played that one, Main Hayes. Uh, more fun with the gun, I bet. Yes. If you had the light gun, I'd say, yeah, a gem. But playing on keyboard or joystick is just not the same. Most people say no there on the vote. It's 7 to 2 on the vote. 78% on the uh, vote there. It's a crazy shot. As nice as it looked and as well uh, as uh, as well done as it was. Unfortunately, not a gem. I'm going to make a note of that in my notes here. Um, okay. So. So, Retron Lim wanted that game called Gauntlet. Uh, ah, is it by Micro Power Retro on Limb? Let's load that one up. Is it, hopefully, this is the one you're on about. Ooh. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, I'm getting quite tired. Uh, but I'm just happy being here with you lot. Oh, this is the uh, Defender clone. But called Gauntlet, there you go. Right, one second, let me just uh, give, me, give my uh, legs a stretch here. My form's getting a bit long. Oh. Oh. That was better. Mmm, I remember this Defend or Die. That was another really good early Defender clone. It looks pretty similar, but it's a slightly different graphics and the uh, the uh, mountain outline or whatever looks a bit chunkier. Let's have a look then. Right, space bar for your smart bomb. Got it. Right, okay. Uh, Defend or Die was absolutely brilliant for a Defender game on the Amstrad, but it was absolutely rock solid. And its biggest problem was it was overly tough. Let's see how this one plays. Yeah, that cool. You can uh, rescue the humans. Awesome. Hmm, the collision detection a little bit off there. Oh yeah, what's going on over here? Yeah. Okay, we're doing well. Boy, you leave them alone. Come from flying saucer came in on my ass. Oh, it was homing in me again there. Go away. Oh. But I've used my smart bomb there. Oh, maybe I took too long, and that's why the uh, flying saucer came. Oh, loads of little 
lighters. Damn, one of them got one of me humans. is a cool little defender clone. I like it. Good suggestion, Retro Limb. Although, collision detection, not great there. That wasn't good. Uh, the collision detection is better on uh, Defender Die. And there, game over there. But, that's a really decent Defender clone. I quite like that. I quite like that. Um, nice and quick, yeah, especially for 1985. Let's have a look, see if we can find it on the CPC Power website quickly. Right, so micro power. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, interesting. It was packaged with Killer Gorilla. <laughs> You got two games for one on this, actually. Uh, we we did have a look at Killer Gorilla the other week. Um, <laughs> no, that's quite an amusing game. Uh, okay, okay. Um, It might have been released on its own as well, by the looks of it. There's a separate listing for this package. Yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, we haven't got the original box art for Gauntlet. So, this really, really is a hidden game because we have, no one's even. It looks like no one we know owns it and is able to provide a scan of it. So, ooh. Are we giving this a hidden gem or not, uh, guys? Right, uh, here's Gauntlet Micro Power. <laughs> a hidden gem. I will put a poll up quick. Hidden gem, yes. No. Okay. There's the, there's the poll in the chat. If you want to click the link and go and vote there. I'm going to say, yeah, why not? It's a bit of a hidden gem. I'm going to go, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling generous this evening. Hey, Neil. Welcome back to the stream, Mr. Neil Lovely. Man, this one's a pricey find these days. It might well be. You have to rescue the humans. You just have to protect them, Matt. So the aliens are always coming down to try and grab one of your humans and then they suck them up into space and if they reach the top of the plane area they turn into like a super alien that's like really deadly. Maud have this one. Right. Oh loads of games Neil. Um, found some real good gems tonight. I'll tell you the gems so far. It's a nice recap for everyone. The gems we found tonight. El Capitan Trueno. Spanish game was excellent. And Le Secret de, T de Tumba. Which is the secret tomb in French. Uh, that's a gem. Sir Lancelot, we said was a gem. Uh, Sword of the Samurai, a gem. I think Cop Out was a gem. But the rest of everyone else disagreed with me. So, And um, what are we saying for this one then? Hidden gem, yes, 85%. I see a few gems in the chat as well. One dissenting vote there from Man Shovel. It's all good, all good. Um, all right then. Well, well then. Gauntlet, the Micropower version, which is not Gauntlet the arcade game, is a hidden gem. Fantastic. There you go. Well, we found another hidden gem tonight. There you go. Um, gem. Oh, uh, Neil Lovely, you want to, you requested a game earlier, didn't you? Called Room Something or Other. Um, let me see if I can find it. Oh. 
You said it was room 18, isn't it? Uh, you mean, I think you mean room 10, don't you? I think Neil wanted this one earlier. He suggested this one. It's only be back just after one. Uh, I think it's room 10. Room 18 doesn't exist. This is room 10 from CRL. You said it was CRL. Uh, Retro Busts. Rob, take care, man. Thank you so much for joining the AM squad tonight as well, mate. Take care, buddy. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Um, okay, Mr. Simpson. I'll buy Pete Cook again. We've had a couple of Pete Cook games tonight, haven't we? Um, who remembers this one? I think I own this one. Uh, I don't think I'm in control of it. Let me just restart it. There. I think I've started the game in keyboard controls that don't work. Let's try this again. Right. Select up and down, space confirm. View or select keys. Ah, Joyce of the Player One. Thank you. Okay, you can select the colour screen as well. The rules of gliding. Uh, all right, I, th I think I know what to do here. Oh, I'm at the top of the screen. The computer opponent is at the bottom. And it's like a 3D breakout. game speed as well uh, but it's like it's air hockey as well basically isn't it it's like a 3d version of air, ho air hockey there was another similar game where you were bouncing a ball down a corridor like this but you're trying to get it past obstacles rather than like a computer opponent in like a kind of a sports game can you remember what that was oh it's bouncing around a bit now i remember i i i owned this one here definitely i remember playing this late on in the amstrad live i got a copy of this somewhere somehow. Oh, right on the edge of my bat there. Uh, it's a little bit slow going though. It could do with a bit more speed, couldn't it? Maybe I'll, I'll escape out and uh, put the speed up or something like that. impressive 3D actually could be uh, definitely gonna be good fun if you had a brother or best friend or mate rounds for two-player game or something I think we need to put the speed up this is just going on forever I'm just trying to hit the corner of my bat. Maybe it'll uh, confuse the computer. Oh! Hey! We finally scored a point! <laughs> 
Good lord, can we can we quit out? Uh, Anna's not loving this. Right, I've quit. I think. I'm trying to get back to the main menu. Player two to serve. I'm trying to quit. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll load you up again, and I'll put the speed up to maximum, and we'll see how you do. It, how how we do. Okay. Good night, George Villa. Good night. Your head has split. <laughs> Uh, no, we haven't tried Night Gunner tonight, no. Oh, Pong meets Shuffle Put Cafe. Yeah, Shuffle Put Cafe is good. Oh, Johnny Boy's just woken up. Jes Jester was in here about 10 minutes ago asking for you, uh, Johnny Boy. Right. Uh, set keys. We have to choose joystick. Okay. Return to main menu. Select game type. Play on. Game speed, moderato, allegro, vivace, presto. Adagio is slow, isn't it? Yeah, so we want presto. Get the computer skill low. Let's see how much. Let's see if this makes a difference. Well, we just uh, pretty much aced the computer there. All right, this is much better with the speed at maximum. It's a teensy bit more exciting now. And we beat him again. All right, that, that's much better. That's much better. Oh, I wasn't in control of my uh, emulator then. Oops. Never mind. Okay. I'm a flash of the computer. Yeah, it's all right. Um, is I think it's fair a fairly hidden game. Um, hey, Bippy Stopper, how you doing? I shouldn't have looked at the chat then. I lost it. Lost there. Um. It wasn't Ball Blazer. There was another game where you go down a corridor. It looks very similar to this. And you're doing a similar thing. You're bouncing a ball. But you've got to keep it moving down the corridor at all the time to get to the end of the corridor. Does anybody remember the name of, uh, of that game? That was actually quite a good game, that. Um... Did anyone... I know I asked earlier. Did, any... Did anyone come up with the name of that? Damn it. It's, bo it's really bothering me now. <laughs> this pong's a bit, says stretch on limb. Um, this is a like primitive version of the game in PSVR world. It's great fun in PlayStation VR. It would be, but uh, do you know what? This at the time against a mate or your brother or sister or something would be all right. The light corridor. Yeah, I think I think that's the one. Let's see if I've got that. Light corridor. Ignore that. Impossible. Oh, it, mm. I think it's this one. I'm, I was on about. I think this is well known. I don't know. If they, they, I don't think you can class the light corridor as a hidden gem or not. The presentation on this. It's nice. Good music.
Yeah, this is the one. Oh, a bit of sample speech there. Oh, you press fire to move on. Right, okay. So you set the ball running. Oh, this is really smooth, actually. Did you hear that? Ow, there. What's this at the top? Oh, bad move. Huh? Alright, we'll start it down here then. This game is really cool. Ow! What a lovely presentation of that. Yeah, this is sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. So room 10 is the game if you want to do something similar to this, but play it like an air hockey game and play it against a, a mate or a brother or sister or dad or whatever. This one is more the one player experience and that's quite good fun. Um, we didn't really vote on room 10 because I got distracted trying to find this one. So, I will do a separate poll, uh, our straw poll online again. Is room 10 a hidden gem? Yes. No. Create poll. We'll create a poll. So the first game we played, um, room 10... Vote on there. Room 10, a hidden gem. I think it's a pretty decent game. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go vote yes for that. So at the moment, we're voting on the first game, room 10, like the two player thingy there. And the vote's coming in five, six, ooh, room 10. Getting uh, votes there, a few votes there. It's basically the 3D Pong, isn't it? It's a 3D Pong. It's, not, it's nicely done. Uh, six votes to three. I know it's getting quite late and everyone's getting quite tired. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Do we have enough votes there to class it as a... Mm significantly classic as a hidden gem there. Uh, I think earlier people were, there was a couple of no's that came in and a gem before we started looking at the light corridor. Mm. I think uh, I think uh, we're we're just about there. Nearly, nearly a gem. Nearly a gem, but not quite enough to make it um, uh, substan not substantial enough, conclusive enough. It's definitely a good game, Room Ten. Definitely a good game. No one's saying it's a bad game, but is it a real gem or not? Mm, not sure. Not sure on that one. I think that's a 50-50. So I'm gonna have to say no on. Uh, room 10 but we can vote on light corridor if you want so the light corridor the one we one we were just looking at here is the light corridor a hidden gem yes hidden gem no we'll create the poll and now we're voting on which game are we waiting on? We're doing the hidden, uh, sorry, we're doing the light corridor, which is the last one we, just the most recent one we looked at, where you had sample speech and music, and you're going down the corridor, not against a computer opponent. I'm definitely voting yes for that. So just as a reminder,
this was this was the light corridor link in the chat there to vote so this was the light corridor oh you collect those things with your bat Oh, so there you go. This is the light corridor. I think this deserves gem status. We'll have a look at the vote in just a second. Ooh. What's happened to me, ball? make my bat smaller so the minus things make your bat smaller and we're on to level two oh i've got a power up that catches the ball on the bat ow this looks kick-ass so let's just pause it there just a second uh Let's have a look at our voting. Oh my goodness! 14 votes to 1. 15 to 1. People are liking... People are liking it. I think, guys, this is a gem. This deserves a long play. There you go. We've got 16 votes in. I think that is conclusive enough to say uh, the light uh, corridor uh, is a gem. Fantastic. Okay, I think what we'll do is uh, let's have a look. I don't think we have any more suggestions left at the moment, actually. Um, Um, is it ow? Oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's April. Um. Oh, Chiefy, good night, Chiefy. Did I? I think I missed your good night message actually before as I was doing the poll there. Um. We're gonna be finished the stream. We're finishing the stream soon anyway. Um, we'll be uh, finishing before two. But uh, good night, mate. Have a great weekend, Chiefy. Thank you for the dono earlier, mate. So thank you for your continued support. You have an awesome weekend, my friend. And man shovel, get into the lurk road mode. No worries, my friends. Have a good one, mate. Have a good one, dude. Um, and thank you, as always, for being awesome. And thank you for the dono earlier as well, mate. You take care, man shovel. And rock on, dude. Um, Neil Simpson is buying a house tomorrow. Probably won't sleep anyway. Bloody hell, are you, Neil? Well, good luck with that, mate. Got 18 votes now. 18 votes to one. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, I feel like playing a little more of this, actually. Let's see how far we can get on this life. Uh, well, on this uh, go. Uh oh. Oh, finally got past it. Oh, we got double. Look at that. All right. I don't know what these symbol all symbols mean. Oh, that's level three. I like this. My ball's got quite far. Oh, my second one's got a bit wonky. It's not. It's misbehaving itself. Oh, we're right there at level four. Damn. Get ready. 
Right, on to level four. We'll get it over the barrier there, okay. life my balls got quite far oh god is that what retro limb says he's clipping bloody hell that minus one i think makes your bat smaller so we don't want to pick that up that number is a level code is it Oh, that's kind of cool that the level codes are actually in the game, then. Ow! Game over. Imagine if Line of Fire had this smooth scrolling. Oh, God, yes, that Line of Fire. I know, yeah, I know that one. God, yeah, that is a terrible conversion. Oh, this is Anna won that Flintstones game with the wall painting. <laughs> or is there just Johnny Boy Troll in there? Uh, one second. Let me just check something. Oh, nice music there. What is it? Uh, and then the high school music. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, uh, uh, Neil saying Zone Zero. Uh, just look for that. I've not found anything called Zone Zero. Uh, there was a game called Zone Trooper. So I don't know on that one, Neil Lovely. Um, oh, God. Because I was talking about balls, was I? Uh, Retro and Limb is having a field day with what you were saying. Oh, God. Right. Well, it's bad enough on marbles. The marble stream. We do. Um, Oh, excellent, Neil. You are then. Cheers, I'll be on value beans for a while, but looking forward to it. Hey, good stuff, Neil. I hope you get um, all uh, settled in and stuff fairly quickly and smoothly. Uh, Zone Zero, I can't find a game called Zone Zero, Neil. I think it's called something else, maybe. Um, i tell you what. Oh, gosh. I was I was gonna call it there, but I've just seen we've got still nearly 50 people watching at the moment. It feels like weird to end the stream when you've got like nearly 50 people watching. All right, I tell you what, guys, I'll take one more suggestion for a hidden gem tonight. Or I'm playing Light Corridor for a 10 minute, another 10 minutes. <laughs> So has anyone else got any suggestions then? Um, loops. Yeah, I thought that was quite a well-known one. Um, please stay on a little bit, Zypher. All right, I'll do one more game tonight then. Mad Mix, I thought that was relatively well-known as well. I don't know. Uh, I'll let the chat have a go on that one. Um, Mad Mix, isn't that Mad Mix is the um, crappy Pac Man clone, isn't it? Do you know what I'd like to have a look at? There was a sequel, I think we've had Mad Mix on the stream before. But I think there was a sequel called Mad Mix 2. Um, which looks kind of interesting. 
So I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll bring up Mad Mix 2 because I don't think that gets talked about not enough. I know it's not so late for you, Matt. It's nearly 2 a.m. here. You wouldn't say crappy. Okay. All right. No worries. Uh, Phantom Mass 2, I think, Robin, I think that's well known because it got remade um, the other year um, by the homebrew team. Relatively, I think mean, it's relatively well known now. I would say so anyway. Hopefully this will allow joystick for, um, off the bat. It didn't seem to give a joystick option there. Press fire to start. Oh look, it's a 3D Pac-Man. Uh, for some re weird reason, A pushes me right. Bloody hell are these controls? Alright, P is up. It's QAOP, but the, oh my god, who, who did these controls? It's Pac Mania, but in colour basically, because you got the jump. <laughs> it's quite nicely done. I'll give it that. And I got caught there. It actually moves quite nicely. I like the graphics. Nice, bright, and colourful. Controls are bloody awful. Cute. Oh, oh. oh was... Whoever made these keyboard controls need to. They need to be shot. Oh, I got punched in the air. And that's game over. All right. So there's a bit of a Pat Mania clone there. This is called Mad Mix 2. It looks like it was only released in Spain. Um, oh my god, Anna suggested Jackal and Wild. Bloody hell. Um, Booger Man. Is that actually a real game? Super Kid in Space? Uh, I think everyone knows about Super Kid. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I know, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's 6 p.m. where you are. I love the Amsterdam on a Friday. It's my connection to the UK. I'm sorry, man. I wish I could stream later for you. Um, better looking than CPC Pac Mania. That is true. Nice game. Pac Mania is an awful specky port. <laughs> um, I don't know if. Uh, do we do we want to vote on this one? I like the um, speed we suddenly had there. I don't know if that was a pickup or not. Oh, is a bit. Is that a bit of parallax scrolling there? Because if you notice, the plane area hovers in space by the looks of it. But there, oh, it's not parallax, but um, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's just smooth enough for me. Oh god, I got punched. Oh, just as we got some speed up there as well. Uh, Booger Man was a 60 bit game with a funny name. Oh, yes, yes, I think I've seen that, Anna. We've got to go around that. That's. Oh. 
These controls are bloody awful. Um, not the responsiveness, just the layout of them. It's Q to go up left, P to go up right, A to go down right. Why is that ghost? Why wasn't that ghost running away from me there? Because I had the uh, 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 I've eaten the power pill. Oh god damn it! I changed just as the ghost got to me there. I don't know. This is kind of fun. It, it, I think it needs to be generally a little bit faster. Every now and again it goes at like a mentally fast speed. I can't work out why and how that happens. Um, it goes really, really quickly. But then it goes down to the back to this speed. This speed is just a little bit too slow. It needs to be just a gen generally just a touch faster. Okay, got him. Got the skulls. Nice. God damn, this is a big ass plane area. That's the only problem. I think it would take a long time just to beat one bloody level. It, ne it needs to be a bit faster, doesn't, doesn't it? Guys, yeah. Ugh. Um... Bits here. Uh, oh, it's Batman off. Hey, good night, Batman. Take care, dude. Um, have fun in your bat cave this weekend. Oh, and I got wrecked. Ass. On the last life there. Uh, Cub Mick. I've not heard of that one, Neil. Uh, Retro Limbs says Spindrome. That vaguely rings a bell. Uh,. I think we're gonna probably call it probably shortly. Um, God damn, this maze is. Oh, oh! Look how fast it's going! No! I got punched by that bloody thing. Too fast to control there. Right! Do we think. Um, do we think Mad Mix 2. Is a gem a hidden gem or not? Exclamation mark gem in the chat or um or exclamation mark no if you think not. Um I think that might be the last game of the night tonight, I feel. I don't know, I'm getting a bit tired. Um I don't know I, I don't know if I would vote for this one or not. Um Let me have a think. Um Uh, it, I think it's just a touch too slow. I think it's just a little bit too slow. I'm going to go no on Gem for that one for me. Oh, Neil, you've got a list of lost CPC games, have you? Oh, nice, dude. And well, we'll, we'll be doing another stream of Hidden Gems again in the future. So you keep that list handy, Neil. And uh, bring it, bring it with you next uh, on that stream. Oh, 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 oh! Music clash. Hang on. Matt Corbin. Oh, bless you, mate. With the five dollars through the super chat, it says thanks for another classic and stream. Why, thank you, matey. Thank you very, very, very much. Bananas in the chat one more time. 
Maybe for the last time tonight, bananas for Mr. Matt Corbin there. Thank you, matey. Thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say so, Matt. Cheers, dude. And thank you for your continued support as well. Um, yeah, it's been a fun night tonight. Um, what's the votes then? Not many votes came in for Mad Mix 2. Uh, one, two, three, no's, two gems. There's about five people voted, so... Um, <laughs> No worries, no worries. Uh, so Mad Mix 2, I will say, is not a gem for now. But maybe when we're doing voting at late at night, when people are tired, it might not be fair on the game. Uh, but no, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to get particularly excited over that one. Um, it's just a little bit, little bit slow. Other than that, it's good. <laughs> Matt's doppelganger, yeah. <laughs> the, two, the two Matt's from America. Neil Simpson says, all looks but no trousers. Yeah, just needs to be a gen gen the general speed needs to be a little bit faster. And we would have been all good. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please, if you haven't already, please give us a like and a thumbs up on the uh, stream and the video. Because it all makes a big difference, especially um, getting this notice tomorrow. Um, on the catch-up video for people as well. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. It, it's been, it's been emotional. <laughs> it's been quite a mad night. Um, some great games tonight. So just to recap, uh, for gems we had uh, uh, Captain Trueno, uh, the secret, the tomb, the secret tomb, the gem, Sir Lancelot, gem, the light corridor, gem, definitely. Uh, Sword of the Samurai, gem. Uh, oh, we didn't get to Herbert's dummy dummy run. Damn it, that was Frischnitz's request. Never mind. Gauntlet was voted a gem. That was the micro power version of Gauntlet. There you go. Some good gems tonight. Uh, some very close. Um, yeah, it had to be fairly conclusive. So if we just close up there and we'll roll the credits for tonight. Uh, don't forget the book stream tomorrow at 10pm. That's right, Retro Lim. Thank you for the donations from Respergu, Little Ryu, Vimto, Simi, Captain Understatement, uh, Man Shovel, Matt Corbin, P Walker especially, Retro Lim, Z Pral, OJBs, Lucas, Chiefy, Tall Paul, Respergu, Neil Simpson, Jockstrad, and Aaron Phillips. Thank you all for your massive generosity and also thank you to the new patrons tonight um guess the mass reviewer neil love and paul walker joining us for a fresh knit sorry but um cheers guys thank you very 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 much tonight um i hope you had a good time odie oh i did see you in the chat earlier and then i think i missed you for the rest of it um i've been a nice time chilling here I know we've had a lot of people lurking tonight, and that's absolutely fine. Um, but thank you then to Tall Paul, Biffy Stopper, Anna, Matt Myers, Matt Corbin, uh, Retro on Lim, Robin Hook, Neil Simpson, Jess Dukes, uh, Anna, I did say Anna, yeah, Tall Paul, uh, Johnny Boy, Odie, Retro on Lim, Maud, Respergu, Lord Respergu, Z Brown, Mr. Neil Simpson, and everyone else. Thank you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, don't forget to drop us a like and a thumbs up on the way out. And uh, I don't think we're going to... There's no one on streaming at this time from the UK. We can send you over to. Uh, so we'll just end things there. Have a great weekend. Uh, I don't know if I'll have an Amstrad video ready for you on Monday or not. Uh, I might have a look at one of these games tonight, actually, at the weekend. Um... Streams back on, on Twitch on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And, um, oh, excuse me a second, I need to blow my nose quick. <laughs> Sorry, that couldn't wait there. Um, Andrea as well, yeah, thank you, uh, Andrea. She's already gone to bed though. Hey, no worries, Odie. No worries at all. Thank you, Biffy Stopper, there as well. So, yeah, I'll be streaming on Twitch in the week, on the evenings, uh, from about 8.30 at the earliest, probably 9 o'clock starts. And um, 
hopefully the big and stream will be happening next Friday. Fingers crossed if all goes well. Uh, right, take care everyone. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, I'll see you all soon. You guys are just freaking amazing. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in tonight. It's been a busy one as well. I think we hit nearly 97 concurrent points tonight. That was cool. All right then, take care everyone, see you soon, and after party in the Discord, if you want to chat to some people, people will be chatting in Discord for a bit, I'm sure. Take care everyone, see you all soon. Goodbye. Bye.